Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. And today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Let's get back to the show. Hezekiah Walker. Yo, what's up? <laughs> How was your weekend, your week, sir? It was good, man. What you, what you want to uh, what you want to lie about today? <laughs> I'm down to lie about anything, man. Yeah? The lie is right. The lie is right. The lie is right. The lie is right. <laughs> okay. You know Bob Barker didn't really die. Really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it was a. Uh, it was actually like an internet meme. It was like a hoax thing. I believe that. Yeah. I heard yeah. when he died, Satan was waiting on him. And? and Satan was like, come on down. <laughs> <laughs> and then God popped out and said, nah, we just joking. This. And then Satan gave God a thumbs up and went back to hell. Is that what happened? And then he took Bob to heaven. Isn't that crazy? And that's what I heard. <laughs> who, who told you that? Who told you that? Who told you that? I saw it on the internet. You saw it on the internet? I saw it on the internet, Oh, shit, man. that's fire, You know they bro. got Instagram and hell? Yeah, they do. That's cool that God and, you know, Satan are working together. They've always worked together, though. <laughs> They've always worked together. They have always worked together, right? Haven't they worked they together all, from the beginning? Technically, that is true. Yeah. Isn't he a fallen angel? Isn't the devil a fallen angel? Yeah. because so they were working together for a minute. And it's, yeah. Because, you know, it's so funny. We, it's like Boosie and, and, and Young Blue. No. I just thought I could bring out a deep cut hip hop reference that I shouldn't know about that nah. might be perfect for this scenario. I don't even know who's do I don't know who's right or wrong in the Boosie Young Blue situation. I know nothing about I, it. I know nothing about it either. Listen, just, you know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like it's a conspiracy of the ages. Mm. It sounds like it's a conspiracy <laughs> of the ages. Salute to Boosie though. Boosie uh was just uh he was in the hospital this week. He had to have uh his sugar. He had one of those sugar what's it what is it he got? Sugar, sugar diabetes? Attacks? Yeah, he got diabetes, but Wow. Yeah. His, oh, his, his blood sugar was low. Uh, That's what it was. So he got it back up. You called it a sugar attack? That's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, you from the country? Attack. Nah, I never heard that. I forget you from New York. Yeah, in this country, we call that a sugar attack. Yeah? Yeah, his blood sugar was low. He had to get his blood sugar up. Okay, Charlamagne the God. Talk you to me. had infamous conspiracy theorist donkey foy... Fay, oh, fuck. Let me try it one more time. Okay, Charlamagne, you had... Infamous. What's wrong, man? It sound like Maxine getting to you. <laughs> you can't talk. <laughs> you had infamous conspiracy theorists, mm -hmm. labeled conspiracy theorists. Labeled conspiracy theorists. Robert labeled, F. Kennedy Jr. Uh, donkey voiced presidential hopeful Robert F. Kennedy Jr. on the Breakfast Club. Yep. Okay. Are you going to have subtitles for the video? Oh, I was thinking about putting some music behind it because it almost sounds like auto tune. You know oh, what I'm saying? That so, would be fire. You know I mean? That would so I was be thinking, fire. I was thinking about putting some. I'm cleaning like, up some, the Hudson River. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh, that you know, would be stuff fire. Like that 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 that. You know what I mean? And the first time I thought, oh my god, because whenever I went to a doctor about this disease, they always said. Okay, but I was thinking he about really, it. You were saying before the pod that he said that his voice got fucked up of a, from a flu he shot. He thinks it's because of the flu shot. He said he can't put it on the flu shot wholeheartedly, and we can insert the clip. Yeah. But he said he can't put it on the flu shot wholeheartedly, but he thinks it's because of a flu shot he got. That's why when you listen to him talk, he's not anti-vax. His wife got vaccinated. Yeah. Some of his kids got vaccinated. Yeah. He thinks if you want to get vaccinated, that's your choice. He just thinks that... We all should do more research what flu on shot, vaccinations. What flu shot can you give your significant other to just quiet them like he did a little bit? Like, <laughs> and how many doses? Will they will it just know. completely make them mute? Is the crazy part is the ninety six flu shot. Oh, that was back in the day. That's the Jordan flu shot. That was oh. the that was the that was the Jordan had the flu game. You know what I'm saying? That was the year of that shit. You know what I mean? Flu. So it was a serious flu. That was a serious flu. So you need a serious shot. So he went and got a serious shot. He had the 96 wow. flu shot. And he said that's the reason his voice, you know, sounds like those old smoker commercials. Bro, I don't mean to be staring at your meat, but are you, is your pants ripped? Yeah, man. That's yeah, one man. of those things I could have just let you have ripped pants all day, but I yeah, did, I must have stared at your meat in order to see that. This shit busted, man. I don't know what the fuck happened, yo, so I'm just going to go with it. But what? Why? Why? You want to know the truth? Yeah. Man. It's summertime. Nah, man. I saw Alex's legs earlier, man. <laughs> and what happened? Little Woody. 
Respect. You got a Woody. A little mm. bit. Get out of here. Busted it wide open, yeah. man. Holy moly. So I'm just going to sit here. With, I'm going to sit here busting it open the whole podcast. Good for you. Good for you. I respect that. I don't got no... For what? Like, I'm not why? shaming you, dude. I'm not why? shaming I'm you I'm like at Kanye. All. Kanye out here showing his ass, you know, in, in Italy. Was that really his ass? That was definitely Cheeks. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. You know Cheeks when you see him. Scroll down. God damn. My Scroll down. Name. One more. One more, Taylor. One more, Taylor. God damn. Get this Cheeks. That's oh. a fucking mess. <laughs> <laughs> and the crazy part, Kanye not wearing no underwear. Yeah, that's crazy. That's what y'all keep forgetting. Imagine me right here sitting down right now with a big ass hole in my paper plane cargo pants and I didn't have no drawers on. Yeah, that's Kanye crazy. Kanye not wearing no fucking drawers, yo. That's crazy. They God said that he was getting damn. topped off on the boat. I don't think oh. he's getting topped off on the boat. Nah, he's just kind sure of he's just right there. Oh, shit. Well, maybe he got his pants down then. So he might be in topped off right there. With the all of those people and he know all those cameras out? She looks. She looks. She looks like us. Look that, like that, 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 that is, yeah, that is the topped off position. Now. Yeah. Yep. Like if you ever had to tell somebody assume the position to get some fellatio, that is it. Yeah. You know what I mean? He got his hand on the back of her head. Yeah, it's going down. And he's wearing a mask like nobody's going to know that's him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and look at, hold on, scroll back up. Look at the guy on the boat, on the phone. Yeah. He's looking like, <laughs> hey, man, this yeah. guy, man, yeah. <laughs> whoever the fuck you told me to take out on the boat is bugging the fuck out. <laughs> What's up with Ye, man? You so think is, he just is, don't give a fuck no more? Is he coming back? It feels like Ye's making a little comeback. They said he's making an album or he's working on an album in Italy right now. Why do we say comeback? Told you. Told us what, Alex? You said he was done. You said he's done out here. Done with what? Just done. Like his career's over. That's not he's what never I said. Yes, you did. Yeah, exactly. yes, you you did. can't tell the first lie on the podcast. It has to come from one of us first. Yes, nah, that's, man. You can get the third lie. Very important. Very important. You know how that works. Do not break protocol. You're uh, breaking uh, protocol. Get right the now. third lie. We got a lie yes. first. Right. Yeah. Jesus well, I already Christ. told one. I didn't tell one. I told one about the Woody, that I got a Woody for Alex. Come on, bro. Come on. Oh, that wasn't a lie. He got yeah. a full. It's full. also. Has been torn from the outside, not the inside. <laughs> so, so that could be someone else's Woody that was trying to penetrate you, dude. Listen, when it comes to music, Kanye West will never be done. Because like I said on this podcast before, comedians, musicians can always put out music, can always hit a stage. As long as there's a stage to be hit, That's it. they will be fine. That's but it. as far as... Uh, uh, any corporate business dealings, at least in America, that ain't happening. Yeah, the global partnerships, especially in, uh, in uh, what's it called? In clothing. Yeah, I don't know, bro. It ain't ha I, don't, I don't see it happening. And even with the, uh, with the global stuff, it, they'd be hard-pressed because I'm sure one of Kanye's biggest markets is North America. Yeah. So if you're a global, when you get in business with Kanye West, you want to sell his stuff in America. What if people in America, what if stores refuse to sell his products? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like Foot Locker did. Foot Locker was like, we don't want no more Yeezys. We don't give a fuck how well they did. Mm. Like, then what? Yeah. I don't know, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanye got, why his cheeks look like that? Nah, he got crazy cheeks. That shit he look crazy. crazy. Yeah, he got crazy cheeks, bro. <laughs> that shit look crazy. Yeah, he got crazy cheeks right <laughs> Just there, Just a dude. left cheek poking out his fucking back pocket. Yeah, that's insane. He's splitting the jacket. Mm. <laughs> right? Oh, my God, dude. You think you he did that on he purpose? Built like that? He has to be. Or maybe he got shots or something. You remember back in the day? <laughs> I don't think that he had ass like that back in the day. You think he got a BBL? I think he might have got a BBL. Kanye might have got a BBL, man. You remember back in the day when it was like every pop star was hopping out of a car and they didn't have panties on? Sorry, coochie and you could see they pussy. Bro, can we talk about the Britney Spears? Because you're you're referencing Britney Spears as one of them, man. She was one of them. Yeah, yeah. And then Britney's recently, like, I guess, getting divorced from her boyfriend or husband, whatever the fuck he was for the guy for the last like six years. Yeah. Um, has there been any public acknowledgement that we were wrong to free her? <laughs> has, 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 has the public taken any responsibility for free Britney? Right? Has the, is there no lockup Britney movement? Is there no apology to her father? Is there no apology to the judge with the conservatorship? Is there no apology because of this fucking long documentary they put out that made her look like this total victim? The woman is a batshit lunatic, right? I think, I think we can't come to that conclusion based off not having any rhythm on Instagram. Let me tell you something, Charlamagne. That is enough. That's what. <laughs> that is enough. 
That is enough. Doing those dances, looking like a maniac. That's into all the it is. Yeah. That is enough. That is enough. We're we got to lock up a lot of TikTok if that's lock the case. Lock them up. That's what I'm saying. Lock them up. We're only seeing her for Come 45 on, seconds out of the day. Come on, yo. She just... She, this, this is how she always danced. First of all, you know how I know she's not crazy? Because this oh. is too intentional to be crazy. Charlemagne. And it's not, it's not irrational. Charlemagne. Let's go. Charlemagne, stop. Let's go. It's it. not. <laughs> she just looks ridiculous. Charlemagne. But she stop don't it. look crazy to me. Charlemagne. <laughs> Charlemagne. She, she looks got... ridiculous, not crazy. Charlemagne, now you're just mincing words, right? Why now. does she do this? Charlemagne. <laughs> why, why does she smell her face? Why do you think, Charlemagne? Why do you think? What song is playing? That's the other thing we need oh, to do. Oh, that's what you're worried about? <laughs> yes. National anthem, guaranteed. <laughs> Oh, oh Khalees, milkshake. Okay. Oh, she's not crazy, yo. Bro, I I, I mm. hate you. You're no, no, Mr. No, no, mental no, no. Health. Mm. You're Mr. You got to get checked out. You're no. Mr. Go to the therapist. And this <laughs> is dancing like a maniac on Instagram every single day. And you're like, no, I think she's totally okay. The craziest thing about that video is that where's the milkshake? You can't dance to Khalees milkshake and not have milkshake. I mean, she's milk. Nah, she's definitely milk. <laughs> she is milk. Yeah. She is definitely the milk that lactose intolerant motherfuckers should not be drinking. Bruh, I don't come think she's on, crazy. Dude. I just think she lacks rhythm and she's just... No, she got rhythm. No, she don't. No, she Stop it. No, she, don't. she can dance no, better than you, don't. Taylor. No, she don't. And why she does she look so short? You. It's the, the angle. Like, she looks like she should get a check for her height. Plies <laughs> loves this shit. Plies is what he's already he's he posted there. all the time and he was like, man, I love stop. when she wearing those shorts. Stop rewarding this shit. Nah, man, Britney not crazy, man. She just oh, ain't got no rhythm, God. yo. Okay, what song is this? And she letting y'all know she still got it. <laughs> Maybe she practicing for a tour or something. She's been on tour. Britney has not been on no damn tour. Why are you making stuff up? To, why everybody want to lie since we made lying popular? Yo, why why do you all want to be us, bro? It's crazy. Yeah. The Dude, she did. This girl is announcing her breakup from her husband with a uh, dance video. Damn. Like, oh, Charlemagne, come on, stop. She's on a pole. Charlemagne in our house. This is at one point the biggest pop star in the world. Yo, it's crazy. Do you my first concert? Was it fire? Yeah. What's pro? What? what, what She's still Britney Spears. Like, she probably, by the way, I was about to say she probably was like this before Instagram, but uh -huh. we're acting like we didn't see Britney with a shaved head beating on a car with an umbrella. That's why you need oh, the conservatorship. Shit. I need to see more. Like, this, this behavior on Instagram is not enough for me to say she needs to be back into a con uh, conservatorship. Like, this is regular to me. Like, this is every older white woman. She's Stop rich. Stop it. She even got the old rich white woman shades on. Stop it. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> like, that. she looks so regular. Like, so yo. If my wife was posting like this, you wouldn't call me be like, yo, is everything good? <laughs> if my wife was posting like this regular, you wouldn't call me and go, yo, is everything good? Yeah, I would. But, but, but she don't have no husband. It, now, as of two weeks ago. She wasn't doing that when she had a husband, was she? Yes, she was. <laughs> really? You yes. know when she wasn't doing it? What? When she had that conservatorship that she fucking needs because this girl's it's, loony. Damn, damn, damn. I don't know. I got to see more than this, man. I, 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 like, this is not, like, she, everybody on everybody on Instagram and TikTok looks like Britney Spears to a certain extent. <laughs> <laughs> they do, <laughs> they do, man. <laughs> like, they all look jokey like this. This like, is fucking crazy. She dresses a, a pilgrim, what bro. What song is this, Taylor? <laughs> what Dude, is this? what is going on? Ooh, what happened to that boy? <laughs> what happened to that boy? Not even <laughs> close. That's not what happened to that boy? No. She hit the Heisman on you, <laughs> Come on, man. So that Brittany was hard. hit the Heisman. You that bugging, so. Like She letting you know she still got it. She, she said, like, Taylor who? She Beyonce might, what? She might be. Come on, she might come be on now. Yo, I didn't know that she had a little moves like that. <laughs> yo, she might be all right. Don't forget who the OG <laughs> is, Ooh, yo. What was that? Oh, she threw Ooh, you the middle the finger. Fucking finger pumping. She threw you the middle finger, she's bro. she's hiking up the thighs. And I'm going to tell you another reason. I'm going to tell you another reason I don't think she crazy. Why? When she ran up on... um. Um, Victor, what you what, Victor? Uh, what you gonna do now? When she ran up on Victor, yeah. what you gonna do now, motherfucking? Um, uh, she what said you gonna do now? She, she did a video going at everybody who said she shouldn't have ran up on him. What she said? She was just like, "Yo, that's no way to treat a person just because I ran up on you to say what's up. I'm a fan, blah blah blah." She was perfectly coherent. I don't think nothing's wrong with her, yo. 
I really don't. I really, really, truly don't. Oh, well, guys, it's settled. She smudged her. What? Britney Spears is officially okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think so. Tell the man has diagnosed her. I think so until, other, until further notice, man. Everything is okay. Let's look at some of the yoga. She had a yoga clip up there. Go on. Up, 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 up those circles. Look at the circles. Up, up, up. Slide up. There it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Perfectly normal. That's normal yoga? <laughs> yoga every oh, darn day. Oh, there you go. Hit it. Perfectly yoga. normal. <laughs> Perfectly so, normal. That is normal yoga. That is normal <laughs> yoga. Honest, that is normal yoga. That's what you do what well, How that's what yoga know? is. It's stretching. <laughs> it is. That is normal yoga. What did I say? What? What did you know about what working out? What did I say? What did you say? <laughs> what did what I say? say? What did I say? Is that what you said? I didn't say anything. <laughs> Yo, what did... What... <laughs> did we ever get to the bottom of what happened at the end of last episode? <laughs> I have no idea. Hey, did we ever get to the bottom of that? <laughs> I have no idea. Was it? Wait, wait. <laughs> we have, I have no idea. You know how you know Charmaine's lying? He starts to pull at his nose. No, I just I just, <laughs> I just want to know. I understand why Taylor you be hearing things, so man. Bad, bro. You look Taylor at Taylor. Taylor trauma be getting to her, yo. It's trauma. It's PTSD. But did we yo. ever figure out why we were cackling like idiots at the end of last episode? <laughs> what happened ever? last episode? <laughs> but there was some. Oh, Oh, sort of, shit. What? Hold on, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Hold on. Shaq West said, I'm really, 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 really rich. Hold on. My homeboy. Why are you looking at me with that bombastic <laughs> side eye? Hold on. My homeboy sent me this shit, man. What? Salute to, uh. Salute to who, bro? Nah, he was listening to the pod. Salute to Dre from Trap Nerds. He said, Yo, listening. Yo, shout out Dre. He said, listening to the episode, I used to work at a daycare for special needs and Down syndrome people. They definitely be fucking. A dating show ain't that crazy. They used to get pregnant and everything. We had to stop them from doing it. And so I said, damn, how you stop them from fucking? He said, it really wasn't a way. They'd hide and do it. And if we caught them, we'd tell the owners or the owners would tell us someone was trying to press charges, but I left before I could see the outcome. It was crazy. Boy, girl, boy on boy, girl on girl. They know what they be doing. Damn. Damn. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, what do you man? think the sounds are during sex? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What, if you could guess the sounds, let's just go off of what it would be like. Whatever Britney doing in this video, yeah. whatever Britney sound like in this video, they probably sound just like it. I don't know if Britney got them sounds, bro. I think they sound regular, man. I, what? What? I think that, that there's, listen, it's beautiful to make moaning sounds. Yeah, I think they sound regular. If you had to make the sound, like what would it be? If you just had to demonstrate what <laughs> an adult male at that facility sounds like busting a nut, mm -mm. what would it be? I don't know no. what the sound is, but whatever it is, I bet you a bunch of T-Rexes will come, come, come running. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of T-Rexes will come running as soon as they hear that goddamn sound. <laughs> whatever it is, man. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> You're just chilling at the desk. <laughs> the, the people work there just chilling at the desk, and all of a sudden they just see the water. <laughs> God damn it, they're doing it again. <laughs> Somebody get down there. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Let's not get back into this. Okay? Let's not get back into this. God okay. bless them. They're sweet. Oh, individuals. they are, they are, they are. Uh Donald Trump facing federal and state charges for alleged crimes. Man, he fi we finally got the mugshot, Schultz. Yeah, the mugshot just won him the election. Nah. If I, I can't see him not winning now with the popularity of the mugshot. I thought about it, but man, when I look at the numbers, right, they said he did like 7.1 million sales of the of the t-shirt, right? Yeah. $47 a pop. Great, by the way, great marketing. $47, because if he wins the next election, he'll be the 47 president. Ooh. $47 a pop, right? But when you do the math, that's 150,000 t-shirts sold. Okay. So let's just say either people were buying doubles, triples, or let's just say at the let's just say one person bought one t-shirt. That's only 150,000 people. What I'm telling y'all and this is what I truly feel, 
I don't think the energy exists for Trump in the real world like it does online. Because where are the crowds at the jail, Schultz? How come when he's turning himself into these places, it's not these massive rallies? Hmm. Where's the smoke? But think, think about how scared we were, you know, when he first turned himself into New York and everybody was bracing themselves like, oh my God, it's going to be riots, it's going to be this and be that. We ain't seen none of that yet. Hmm. And God forbid we don't want it. I'm just saying, I don't think people have the energy for Trump like we think they do. I mean, my energy's there. <laughs> no, I just think his ability to take over the internet is unprecedented in all seriousness. Yes, but that's all it is. But that's all you need now. No, it's not. You need I, more. I don't think you do. And I think if they do, if listen, I think Biden has a chance to beat Trump if they do mail-in ballots. If you actually have to go and vote yourself, there's no way in, in the hell Biden will win. But if they rig it so that you can do your mail-in ballots and they send everybody the ballots or whatever, then, of course. I'm just disgusted. But nobody cares enough about Biden to go to the— No enthusiasm. I'm with you. It's, yeah. a, it's, 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 it's voter apathy like a motherfucker. But, but if they give everybody the, the ballot— and it's already self-addressed and stamped and everything, you have to do nothing. You literally just have to check one box and then put it in your thing. You'll do that for Biden just because you hate Trump. But if you have to get up on a fucking Tuesday and wait in line to vote for Biden, no way. Now, here's the crazy thing. Mm -hmm. People just aren't reflective enough. I think they've actually liked their life under Biden way more than they like their life under Trump. Explain. They might like Trump's policies more. They might like how bombastic Trump is. They might like how hilarious he is. They might like how uh, insensitive at times he is and entertaining he is. But I think the calmness of the Biden presidency, which is a function of him literally never saying anything, he's just been in a bunker the entire time, the calmness that happens when the leader of the country never reacts to anything mm -hmm. makes you not react to their reaction. It's only calm because of Trump, though. If Trump didn't have 91 criminal charges and four indictments, they'd be all over Joe Biden and Hunter Biden and all the corruption around him. I don't him. think so. I do. I think what happens is you only, you only take down or want to push back against or support a leader when he speaks on things. Biden never publicly speaks on shit. He, I don't think I don't think we've seen a president less in the modern era than Biden, right? And it's probably because they're like, okay, every time he speaks, he kind of looks a little bit uncomfortable out there, and then people lose faith. But in terms of their lives, I, I wish the average person would just, and it, you know me, I'm not some like fucking thumping for Biden. I'm just saying the calmness of this last two years or whatever the fuck it was compared to the chaos. People like political normalcy. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. think they just like it. to check out. And they've been able to check out for two years. That's why a lot of people say, you know, I saw Styles P. Styles said that he he likes he liked Trump in, in office because he felt like people paid more attention when and, Trump was in office. And you know? I did prefer when Trump was in office over Biden. And I could tell you clearly why. Why? Black people paid more attention to what was going on. Like I mean, I, they, dis I, I disagree with that only because I look at the legislation that Trump rolled out. I even put in the Supreme Court appointments in, like, you don't get, you know, Roe v. Wade, you know, thrown out if you don't put those Supreme Court judges in. So personally, legislation-wise, I don't think having here, Trump in is worth it. Here's the thing. Biden, the only thing that riles people up is the culture war, right? So the culture war is about these itch issues that are incredibly divisive and usually on like political lines, right? So it's like trans is a big issue right now. It's like, or LGBTQ, like, mm -hmm. and you'll see people hate Disney because they're about to put out a movie that has trans this or gay that, right? And now the people that are pro LGBTQ, they're going, oh, this is awesome at Disney do it. And then anti, and there's these big fights, right? Biden, it feels like for the last two years, has avoided every culture war topic. Yes, there's been times where he had the trans people at the White House, but they're not blowing that up as big as possible. He, but that's smart. No, no, I, I guess what, that's what I'm saying. So he's avoided every mm -hmm. culture war topic, and therefore there's not a lot to rally against. Trump constantly hits culture war topics. That's all he's hitting. He's going. He knows that if he needles away at that, people are going to get excited, talk about it. And the more people get excited and talk, good or bad, the more attention goes on him. And then he can, what he believes is, is win an election that way. So It's funny you say that because a lot of Republicans, conservatives feel like it's the other way around. They feel like Democrats focus too much on culture war. The GOP focuses on everyday well, issues. Democrats are different than Biden. Mm-hmm. 
Democrats, there are, of course, Democrats that you have, like, the AOCs of the world. Mm -hmm. Now they've told her to be quiet, and she shut up pretty much. But but when she wasn't, you know, doing whatever they tell her, they uh, she was really tapping into that culture war, and she was getting all this attention, right? Because she was a representative. She was a mouthpiece for all these people that did feel aggrieved by those uh, specific topics. Just like when um, uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. comes out and be like, yo, that vaccine, we got to look into it. Like, there's a lot of people who are anti-vax, and now that's the biggest mouthpiece for that, mm -hmm. for that specific topic. And I think what Biden did for two years is just didn't have a reaction to anything. And by not having a reaction to anything, we didn't react to his reaction and things were calmer. Yeah, I'm not that saying that that's a better way to lead. What I'm saying is if we compare our anxiety to Trump, uh, sorry, to Trump, Obama, Bush, yeah. to Biden, it is way cooler and lower now. But that's why it sucks around election time, cause now because now Biden got to hit the goddamn yes. trail. You got to talk. And you got to fucking energize people. We, 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 if you go back and listen to Oberyn in this episode, we said, I don't want to have to deal with Trump doing exactly what he's doing right now, mm. sucking all the air out of the goddamn media. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? But I personally, man, if I was a conservative, if I was a GOP, I would want Trump to move out of the way. And there's a poll that says, there was a poll, I think, I don't know if it was Republicans they, they, uh, they polled or if it was Americans, but I think it was either half of Americans want Donald Trump to suspend his campaign. Half of them. I think so. Look, look that up, Taylor. I think it's more, more than more than half of Americans want him to suspend his campaign. I agree because, yo, but why would you want somebody with this much distraction? But is that surprising? No, like uh, of well, course, sort of, sort of, kind. Every Democrat is just like, yo, get out of here, and every Republican is like, yo, do it. And you know that he's got the Republican nominee locked because everybody on that stage, almost at the Republican debate, well, I don't want to say everybody, but a lot of the Republicans refused to just be like, yo, that guy's an asshole, get him the hell out of there, because they knew that they would piss off the base. Yeah, I just, a, I just, I just, I just wonder what the base. I really do wonder what the base is. I wonder if there's if Trump bought in a new generation of MAGA base, but I wonder what that old conservative original Republican base feels. You know what I'm saying? Like if you piss off the Trump MAGA base, is that really going to hurt you in a general? I don't know. I feel like there's no, I don't feel like there's that, too, I don't feel like too many independents going to vote for Trump this go around, man. I think that hypothetical swing voter that voted for Obama and turned around and voted for a Trump, I don't know if they vote for well, him this time around. I think it depends what they want to vote on, right? And I think if I think the Republicans will try to make the conversation that Democrats are trying to transition kids. And they'll be like, look at all these Democrats. They're trying to transition children. We got to protect the children, protect the children, protect the children. Mm -hmm. I think that's how Republicans will position like one of the big talking points. Whereas before it was like the border. The border. I don't even know what Trump's policies are this time. Yeah. Like- and I mean this. In, I'm, I'm just I'm, saying. I'm just saying they, they have to pick one, and yeah. it seems like that's the culture war right now. Like the Republicans go, we're going to protect the kids. We're going to protect the kids. Protect the kids. And the Democrats, they believe that they're also protecting the kids, right, by providing them this care that they need. Now there's a disagreement on if that care should be allowed for a underage child, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah. should you be allowed to keep a secret from your parents if you're an underage child? If you're an underage kid, you literally have to ask your parents for permission to go to the movies. You have to ask your parents for permission to go on a fucking ride at, a, at an amusement park. Like, you need permission from them for everything. Why are we creating this caveat where you, they, you are becoming the parent of the kid? So I understand Republicans or conservatives' frustration with that. So I think what happens is Is Trump, that enough to get people to the polls? I think if you have a few of those together, so I think what Trump will do is isolate those uh, issues and then lean on what he thinks will rile his base up and independence the most. I don't think he's capable of doing that at his age right That's now. That's fair. With 91 criminal charges and four indictments. Because, that, you know, he keeps saying, I'm getting arrested for y'all. That's cool, but is that enough to make you want to vote for him? You know what I'm saying? Because after a while, you're like, I don't know if you're getting, still getting arrested for us, buddy. <laughs> is there? A, I, think, I think some of this got to be on you. Okay, is there a little bit, like, is there any part of you that looks at this and then goes, hmm. I'm voting for Robert F. Kennedy Jr.? Not I'm voting for Robert F. Kennedy Cornell, Jr. Like, Marianne? It, it, when you see the people that are against him, now it's a really interesting thing because people used to be like pro-Trump. Now I think they're anti-establishment 
That's and why Vivek shines. Of course, Vivek. He's yeah. the, the only one. He's, the, he's, he's up there saying, I'm not a politician. And exactly. So I think that the, the people on the left and the right, they have, we have this disdain for the establishment, right? The, the news and the internet has really exposed that there's been time where the government have lied to us or withheld information, as all governments do, and we're tired of them lying. So whatever candidate is calling out our frustration with the government, i.e. a Vivek, right, or a Trump, we will gravitate to, not because we like them, but because we don't like the establishment. So our disdain for the establishment, I think, might push many of those, what do you, what'd you call, like a casuals or, or yeah, independent voters. Yeah, swing voters. Yeah, exactly. They'll just lean towards whoever is the most anti-establishment. And Trump is always, I mean, you could even make the argument right now that what he's going through is representative of the establishment attacking him. He's pushing back against the establishment and he will frame it like that. He will go, listen, the establishment, those old politicians, all those old elites that are controlling America and controlling your interests and starting these foreign wars and sending your kids out to die for nothing. They're also, you gotta tell your man, you, 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 they're, also, they're also attacking the us. Yeah. What yeah. the hell? Uh, they're also attacking me. So if you don't like them and you think that they're ruining your country so that they could profit, tell, uh, vote for me because I'm gonna shut them all down. I think that's the combo. Yeah, uh, yeah. I had, I had a thought till fucking Drax distracted me. <laughs> what the fuck? Ba basically, what I'm saying is, I think the energy right now is the establishment has failed us, and the establishment is putting oh. us in this fucked up situation. Like, I think a lot of people are like, "Yo, that's a lot of billion dollars to give Ukraine while we got people oh, suffering 100%, over here." But everybody's saying that. Like, you, like, there's even Democrats saying that. Robert, I, like, I, everybody's saying that. That's just ridiculous. The thing I would say about Trump is. Yes, people are anti-establishment, but I don't think anybody's anti-establishment enough to say fuck the Constitution. And well, when you got a man who literally said we should suspend the Constitution, that's your concern, all Americans. Because all we want- that? When did he say that? I don't fucking know. Chris Christie kept saying it at the fucking debate Trump stage. said we should suspend, suspend the Constitution. Suspend the Constitution. When did he say that, Chris? Suspend habeas corpus? Like No, he said we should suspend the Constitution. I forgot what it was for, but he said we should suspend the Constitution because Chris Christie kept- Oh, uh, yeah, in- Former President Donald Trump called for the termination of the Constitution to overturn the 2020 election. That's what it was. And reinstate him to power. I'm trying to see what the day. And then on Saturday, seemingly out of nowhere, called for the suspension of the Constitution as yet another attempt to overturn the 2020 election. And Chris Christie kept bringing that point up at the debate. And I was like, huh. And so when I'm looking it up to see what it was, I'm like, I don't want that kind of president. I don't want a president that does not give a fuck about the Constitution. And we hear politicians say that all the time about Trump. Like, he doesn't care about the Constitution. But to hear that come out of his mouth, I, think that's I don't reasonable. want that. I think that's very reasonable. I think there's no more important you know, document. In, that's in, it. All we want is the Constitution to work for everybody. Absolutely, 100%. White people, black people, but Jewish I, people, Asians, everybody here in America. 100%. I just wouldn't look at... The Constitution isn't the establishment. The Constitution is, is Jesus. The Constitution is like what we should live up to. So you, so you got to get rid of Jesus. You can't get rid of Jesus. You can't get rid, can't of Jesus. get rid of Jesus because this is the idea. This is the perfect man. This is the perfect human being. And if yeah. we all live this life, then we could live a godly life. And I think that's the idea with the Constitution. It's like if we lived up to the ideals in this Constitution and everybody had them, then wow, this would be absolutely amazing. So what does that say about you that you want to get rid of it because things didn't go your way? I mean, if I'm Chris Christie, if I'm any Democrat, I'm leaning into that big time. Like Please don't lean no too more. much, Chris Christie. You're going to hurt somebody. <laughs> but yeah, there's no more important. There's a great knock on him, and that was a foolish thing for him to say, 100%. And he acts like he's above the law. Yeah. He acts like a person who doesn't abide by the Constitution. Yeah. So when you hear him say that, I'm like, you know what? I think the Trump experiment is, has, has ran its course. Yeah, but you got to understand, like, most people, they're just understanding things from, like, a peripheral perspective, right? Myself included. I mean, you, yourself included. You're still talking to politicians, but still, we're on the outside, like— even with this whole, we can get into the semiconductor talk, but even with Ukraine, right? We're just like, yo, we don't know what's going on there. The government isn't giving us enough information as to why we're really there. I'm sure there's some like long-term geopolitical reason as to why we're propping up Ukraine in this war right now. I felt that, like Nikki Haley explained it best in two sentences. Well, okay, what did she say? She said, then she to, said we have to protect Ukraine to avoid World War Three. I mean, what does that mean? I don't I, know. I, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But it yeah, but it good. I was good. like, yeah, oh, oh, really? That's why? So the Ukraine thing to me is really interesting because that right there 
is the topic where you could tell who's part of the establishment and who's not. Mm. Everybody part of the establishment on the left or the right will be like, we got to keep on funding Ukraine. Everybody part of the establishment on the left or the right is going to be pro-war. But Nikki thinks we're spending too much money in Ukraine, though. But she ain't going to say, stop spending totally. Yeah, because she said if we... Well, Chris, you know this is your lane, Chris. Come on, Chris. What? Why, why, why are they protecting Ukraine? Well, I mean, if you take it at face value, they're trying to contain Russia... From uh, I'm trying to contain them. They're trying to hurt, damage Russia. Well, it's 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 a rope a dope, right? You get them to waste all their resources on a it's war. The space race, right? We did it with them with Afghanistan, where they went in there. Yeah, and, you know, half their country got hooked on heroin afterwards, and you know. Oh, this is it right here. Play this, Taylor. This is Nikki. I thought Nikki won the debate. By the way, shows don't think so because she's a woman. But what do you mean? <laughs> what? That's not a woman. <laughs> it's this guy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> press play, Taylor. Taylor, hurry up and press play for he sucks. Why is Alex talking? Ta Taylor has something else playing. Taylor, Taylor, what's Taylor, going on? One thing about Taylor. What? I respect, I, I, I love I respect Taylor's her ability, ability to do everything to do her, but her job. Yo, it, yo same, yo. Same. She's a fan. She is fantastic at everything except for her job. She might be one of the best ever. At, 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 at everything, everything except for her job. Except for her job. Except for her job. You probably one of the best in history. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> at everything. That's right. If you tell Taylor to do some imaging, fire. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. She'll have the imaging sounding amazing and incredible. Taylor made it. Anything other than that, oh, it's no. going to be rough for you, no. buddy. Play a video, Taylor. Ah, I don't, I don't know just... how to do that. I can't, Here you go. I can't play just a waiting. video. I can't just press play. Ukraine is the first line of defense for us. And the problem that Vivek doesn't understand is he wants to hand Ukraine to Russia. He wants to let China eat Taiwan. He wants to go and stop funding Israel. Why does people you think China eat everything? To friends. What you do instead is you have the backs of your friends. Ukraine is a front line of defense. Putin has said if Russia, once Russia takes Ukraine, Poland and the Baltics are next. That's a world war. We're trying to prevent war. Look at what Putin did today. He killed Pergozin. When I was at the UN, the Russian ambassador suddenly died. This guy is a murderer. Putin don't bullshit. And you are choosing he don't. a murder over, over a pro American country. Mm. All right, Vivek. Mr. Ramaswamy, you have 30 seconds. Mr. DeSant, you know, Governor DeSant, I wish sure. you well in your future career on the boards of Lockheed and Raytheon. You know, I'm not the fact of the matter. And you know, you Boeing came off of it, but you've been pushing this lie. Stage. Nikki Body this lie all week, Nikki. You want Nikki. to go and defund Israel? Just, you want to okay, let me address that. I'm glad you, you brought that up. I'm going to address each of those. You better address that. <laughs> yeah. you, better, you better start yelling real quick. It's gonna be you and Kanye on the boat soon. <laughs> you better have your cheeks out with Ye. You know what? The show policy experience that you all have shows in the pointless wars we've gotten into. Nikki, man. They're just clapping at nothing. <laughs> I don't know. He's right. I don't know what he's saying. He's right, he's a man. <laughs> what? You know, a man is talking. Each other stand on their own two feet. So I will lead Abraham Accords 2.0. I will partner with Israel to make sure Iran never is nuclear armed. But you know what I love about Israel? And I've been there probably in the last 10 years more than most people on this stage. You know what I love about them? I love their border policies. I love their tough on crime policies. I love that they have a national identity and an iron dome to protect their homeland. And so, yes, I want to learn from the friends that we're supporting. And what puzzles no, me is, no, I want to learn from those and apply you, those to protect our homeland, that Nikki. It's not Israel that needs America. Answer. America needs on? Israel. Okay, they Governor are the DeSantis, yeah. All right. DeSantis, I don't give a fuck. Uh, <laughs> nah. Let me tell you something. That's a bunch of bullshit Nikki right there. Haley wasn't enough lies for is <laughs> establishment as they come. Sure. Yeah, she's a governor, former governor of South Carolina. Yeah, yeah. So listen, you can ask these people a few questions and find out if they're just going to tow the company line. And if they're going to tow the company line, then it's just more of whatever's but happening. But that's what Republicans love. That's what Democrats love too. They're they, they, all you're the right. same. You're they're right. all the same. And that's what I'm saying. It's like if I. That's why I say get Trump out of here. He's a distraction. You don't have to deal with the 91 criminal charges. You don't have to deal with the four indictments. Whoever they put there. Whoever they put there, people are going to eventually get behind. All the Republicans on that stage doing exactly what Democrats do when they're on the stage. They're all talking shit to each other. They're popping shit. But when it comes time they gonna get for an election line. season, they're all going to get in line. Yep. You know who I would get? You know who I would? Seriously? What? I'd get me a tuba, and I'd follow behind that big motherfucker, Chris Christie. 
Now I would, I would, I would, I would put that big motherfucker at the front of the GOP yep. and grab your tubas. And then what do you do? Be right behind him playing that shit. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I think he's. I think out, out of every. You think he's the one? I, I he's thought the, so. He's the biggest Trump hater, and so all of Trump's core base isn't going to vote. Yeah, it's a it shame. wasn't even that he was a Trump hater. It's nah, the fact he was that a Trump. Hater. I know he is a Trump hater, but it was, it's not the fact that he's a Trump hater. I think what he says about Trump is just the truth. And I think that one thing he said on that stage that made a lot of sense, he was like, I want a blue state. You want somebody that can go out there and win over these states that aren't necessarily uh, red states. You want somebody that can go out there and be kind of a moderate after seeing so many extremes. Yeah. I think Chris Christie's the guy. Yeah. No, he absolutely could do it, but he's fat. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, this is yeah, crazy. I mean, I mean, listen, man. He's the perfect person to fat shame. Any joke that you want to get off about a fat person, you can do it to Chris Christie, and nobody will, nobody Wait, will be mad at you. Wait, scroll up right there. There might be a skinny one of him. Oh, no, that's... The, <laughs> no, no, no such thing. I gave him the perfect campaign, but he don't want to do it. Which is? The Run With Christie campaign. Like, you really got to go out there, take your shirt off, show people, say, say this is America now, and then we're going to get America in shape. By the time February, March rolls around, Bye. you know what I'm saying? And Please. all you got to do is get on that fucking... Um... Stairmaster. No, man. <laughs> Ozempic. Ozempic. Yeah, he got to get on that Get Ozempic. on the fucking Ozempic, man. Yeah. Presidential code name, Krispy Kreme. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Nobody want a fat president. It is amazing how image plays a role in every goddamn thing, Absolutely. Yo. You have to look the motherfucking part 100%. in everything that you do. We, as, as accepting as America acts like it is, nope. we don't want no fat fucking president. 100%. Yep. Nikki Haley need bigger lips. She don't have big enough <laughs> lips to be president, in my opinion. I, I disagree. I what do you mean you disagree? I've never even noticed her lips. Exactly my point that I'm making. <laughs> he can't see him. Exactly the point that I'm making. <laughs> what she's you a just white said, woman. Why she gotta have lips? I thought she's a Cherokee or something like that. <laughs> oh, I hate my fucking brain. <laughs> my God. I had to catch myself, man. Oh, my God. Can you just let it go? Whoa. Holy bro, fucking shit, man. You got to contain yourself, bro. I, um, I couldn't. Jesus Christ, man. Let's pay some bills, man. <laughs> what the fuck is happening, man? What was what that? What is happening, I yo? felt the spirit. Like, as soon as you said that shit, yo. <sighs> Today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time, all right? Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue screen for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. I personally think all of y'all should be uh, running back to dot-coms, you know what I'm saying, and you should have your own dot coms to where your audience can come to you and uh, get the content that you're putting out. Because I don't know if y'all noticing or not, a lot of these platforms are doing a lot of demonet demonetization nowadays. Yup. And it's a lot of censorship and it's a lot of strict shit going on, which I've been trying to tell y'all for months, but y'all wasn't listening. But uh, create pro level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logos. Built in analytic measures the impact of every send. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords and most popular products and content. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Let's get back to the show. Show, you got church announcements? Yes, sir. What you got? What you got? The Life Tour. Uh, we're coming to Niagara Falls. There might be tickets left for that. We're coming to Windsor, Ontario. Might be tickets left for that. TheAndrewSchultz.com for both of those. And then we're coming out there and we got Europe. Uh, that's going to be crazy. Very excited. I think there's some tickets left for Dublin. Uh, the rest of those shows are sold out. Abu Dhabi, sold out. Thank you so much. In Australia, we added another show in Sydney. We uh, extended more seating in um, in Melbourne. 
uh, at another show in Perth. Uh, Adelaide, I think, is sold out, man. So uh, thank you guys so much for that. TheAndrewShows.com for all those. The Life Tour. Cannot wait for you guys to see this. Hezekiah Walker, The Life Tour. Um, I want to tell y'all, I got three little announcements. Uh, first of all, go support my sister, Alicia Renee. Unleashed for Love is out on Audible. Right now, latest release from me and Kevin Hart's SBH Productions, an audio scripted romantic comedy um, where Big Leash and her friends, Jess Hilarious and Pretty V and Logan Browning and Portia Williams and Giselle Bryant, uh, they're all looking for love in this industry. Okay, so a salute to everybody that's been checking it out, listening to it, keep raking it, keep reviewing it. Um, it's on Audible right now, Unleash for Love. Got to salute my guy, Doug Melville, uh, Invisible Generals. That's the next release coming out on Black Privilege Publishing, my book imprint. It tells the amazing true story of America's first black generals, Benjamin O. Davis Sr. and Jr., a father and son who helped integrate the American military and create the famous Tuskegee Airmen. That'll be out on November 7th, but you can pre-order that now. And I want to tell everybody... My third annual Mental Wealth Expo is happening Saturday, October 7th at the Marriott Marquis, Times Square, New York City. It is a day of mental health and healing education. This is my third one uh, this year. You know, a lot of the usual suspects like Dr. Alfie Breland Noble, Dr. Rita Walker, uh, the newly Named Dr. J. Barnett. You know, he got his doctorate now. Salute to my guy, Dr. J. Barnett. Uh, Brandon Marshall will be in attendance. Dr. Jonathan Lasseter. Resma Minicum, author of My Grandmother's Hands. Uh, Latham Thomas, who was uh, my doula. Me and my wife's doula for our last two children. Corey Minor Smith, Elliot Connie, Wynn Sean Miller. My good sister, Angela Rye. And my man, Carson Daly. Carson Daly will be joining us this year, man. So Saturday, October 7th, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., the Mental Wealth Expo, the Marriott Marquis in Times Square. For more information, visit www.mentalwealthexpo.com. And it is a free event. That will never change as long as I'm doing uh, the Mental Wealth Expo. It was free the first year, free the second year, and it'll be f it's going to be free again this year, man. All ages are welcome. So we'll see you Saturday, October 7th at the Marriott Marquis in Times Square. Oh, and I got to salute my guy Jeezy too, man. Salute to Jeezy. Jeezy in his second week uh, made the New York Times bestsellers list. Hey. Yeah, first week he made the Wall Street Journal list. He was like number two on the Wall Street Journal list. He was the number one uh, audio and audible. He was uh, number 15 on the USA Today, but he made the New York Times bestsellers list last week. So Jeezy is now officially <coughs> a New York Times <coughs> bestselling author. So salute to my guy, Jeezy. Okay? Congratulations, yeah, Jeezy. Yeah, man. I'm happy to play uh, a, a, a role in that. That's fire, oh, man. Play, oh, yeah, play that. Play that, Taylor. Play my guy, Young. First of all, let me tell you something. Pastor Young, Jeezy, is one of my top seven favorite rappers of all time. Okay? Top yeah, seven. play this. Play, play this, Taylor. Play this. Play this. Why did you decide to write a book? Is as quiet as you are about your history, your yeah. past, and everything you've been through, what yeah. made you decide to write a book? Uh, you know, well, statute of limitations is up, as far as I know. Okay. So I definitely ran everything through my lawyers. That no, was, right. That was first and foremost. It was actually a lot of stuff I had to take out of the book because I just didn't want to put myself in no crazy positions. But um, before I even say that, let me shout out to my brother right here to my right because this book was something I had been working on. Mm -hmm. And I had one situation and it fell through. Mm -hmm. And I called Charlemagne. I was like, bro, who published your book? How did you get it done? Mm -hmm. And he pointed me in the right direction, and, and, and thank you for that, brother. Oh, I love you know my brother. Saying? He helped me get this done, so you know, just to know Charlemagne had a lot to do with that. But right now, that's I just, right. I just, and you know, you know, you know me, just man, another man, assist that I like to throw. And I just want to tell y'all, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all be doing shit for nobody, you bum ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason I played what? that. Okay, the whoever whoever wants to wear that oh fucking uh, whoever wh whoever shoot that fish, put it on. You bum ass motherfuckers. I, Nothing no, hits like the that. The reason bro. I'm saying that, man, because I'm tired of seeing all of these motherfuckers talk about like, you know, how much the money they making or you know, all of this they claim to do, but we don't ever see it. Yeah. Like I'm tired. I'm really really tired of people who got these platforms, who aren't doing anything with these platforms. You're not doing anything. The only thing, only person you're benefiting is yourself at the end of the day. Yeah. And I tell y'all all the time, if what you 
are building or what you have only benefits you, it's not big enough. Mm. Bottom Fact. line, point blank, period. You know Fact. what I'm saying? Throw an assist to somebody if you can, you know? Uh, 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 if, you have, if you're passionate about a cause like I am when it comes to mental health, put together an event like the Mental Wealth Expo. This is my third one. Yeah. And everybody gets in free. Yeah. You know, because I feel like if you really are providing a service to people and you really want to give people help, you should do it for free. Yeah. That's my personal. If you can afford it, for sure. If you sure. can afford to. But yeah. all, everybody acting like they can, but I don't see them putting their money Ooh. where their mouth is. Ooh. You know, that is the challenge, you know, from here on out for the rest of our lives. What are you doing with all of this money and this influence that you claim to have? Okay, if all you're doing is motherfucking getting your algorithm popping, man, that shit is not impressive to me in any way, mm. shape, or form. Because as we know, getting algorithms popping is easy to do. We did it last week with a goddamn lie. We sat on this podcast shows and told people Say we, we were lying. Yeah, we told we lied. Yeah. And blog sites still ran with it. <laughs> Y'all got my man Bun B reposted. Y'all got the OG, my, the legendary, one of the best to ever do it. Yeah. Bun B reposting furiously Angry. at me. Yeah. I don't think I he was really mad. Say that. Let me read. You want to read what Bun B said? Yeah, have to, have Let to. me read what Bun B have said. To. Bun B reposted. And Bun B reposted one of you blogs. I forgot which one it was. Hold on. But, Bun, Bun yeah. B says, sorry, see to God, but the Queen Beyonce is more than welcome to die in that Trill Burgers, and we can anticipate and handle any and all issues on site, bro. Fuck you, mean. <laughs> and look at the headline. Hold up. Y'all knew about this? Charlemagne explains why Beyonce is not allowed to eat at public restaurants. I can totally see why people get on podcasts every week and just lie to folks. Bro, it, it ain't even podcasts. It's just news in general. Just news in general. Podcasts, YouTube, CNN, Fox, yeah. MSNBC. Now, they can't tell blatant lies like they can on social media and YouTube. Yeah. yeah. But they, boy... They'll lie. They just won't look into anything. They won't look into a single thing. Not one goddamn thing. Yeah. How could y'all post just that clip? I got. I'm not gonna say who the person is, but I do want to salute one blog site. I really like this blog site. They reposted it, and you know why I fuck with you? I always knew I fucked with you, but I'm gonna tell you why I really fuck with you. I fuck with you because you were embarrassed. Hmm. Ooh. You actually were embarrassed. He hit me up so apologetic, and he was like, man, it's just me. <laughs> He's like, I'm just this one person doing this page, and it's a page we all like. Hollywood Unlocked? No. Jason got a full staff. It wasn't Hollywood Unlocked. They didn't report it. But this page, he was like, it's just me. He's like, man, I'm so sorry, man. He said, I, he said, I was listening to the episode, and I just totally missed it, yo. I didn't even catch that part. But I fuck with you because you was embarrassed. Mm. Because when you're embarrassed... Yeah. That means you're going to try better the next time. Yeah, you have integrity. You have integrity. Yeah. When you don't have no shame and you just like, fuck it. Yeah. I know they lying. Yeah. But nobody cares about the truth and the lies more entertaining. We need the engagement. Yeah. We don't need your kind around here. Yeah. Your kind is not welcome here. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Did you see uh, Noah Lyle's uh, post-run interview? What'd you think? I just think it's it's just really funny. You want to play it? Yeah, let's play it, because it is funny. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to sit there for 10 minutes until Taylor figures out how to... <laughs> Even though she had it up. She did. She had it up, Schultz. Finals, and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? The United States? Don't get me wrong. I, I love the U.S. at times. <laughs> But that ain't the world. That is not the world. We are the world. We have almost every country out here fighting, thriving, putting on their flag to show that they are represented. There ain't no flags in the NBA. <laughs> the thing that hurts me the most. What do you think, Charlotte? I think that. I don't understand why in your moment of glory where you just won three gold medals that you would get on stage and decide to shoot at a whole other sport that has nothing to do with you. Now, yeah. technically, is he right? Sure. 
even though we know why NBA players get called world champions, it's because the best players in the world come play here. Come to play in the NBA. I mean, yeah. if you look at the last three MVPs, none of them are from fucking America. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. Giannis, it's Jokic, it's Joel Embiid. So yeah. I, 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 I get what he's saying, and technically he may be correct, but the reality is the best players in the world, probably more than any other sport yeah. in America, are in the NBA. I mean, the argument that he should make is everybody on the planet that can run has run 100 meters straight. There's no, like secret athlete out there that's really the fastest person, but we're not aware of who they are. If you can run 100 meters straight, we know. So he, if he's the fastest man on the planet, we know that there's nobody else out there that's the fastest. The fastest swimmer on the planet doesn't even have access to a pool. Most people never have access to water. They mm. don't even know how to swim. Mm. The best basketball player on the planet might have never even touched a basketball, mm. right? The best skier on the planet might have never even seen snow but everybody's run straight so you could make the argument with him he is the fastest person on the planet i know some crackheads that'll smoke him but <laughs> at the tender age of 57 right now but in like a 40 100 not 100 shit crackhead can't run 100 shit can't run 100 meters. you tell him for a 20 a rock and you got some good shit you think they can run 100 meters? Smoke them. Bro, there's this guy who asks crackheads if they want to eat a flaming hot chip. Have you guys seen this? No. Oh, boy, this guy's got some good. And he asks, like, street dudes <laughs> if, they, if they could eat it. He's like, you'd eat the hottest chip in the street. So they say, yeah, eat it. It's no big deal. And, bro, watching them suffer through this is fantastic. It's fantastic. God bless Damn. TikTok. And whatever your name is, shout out you, <laughs> legend. How do we get here? I don't know. I just oh, think crackheads. You yeah, said crackheads. I just think that you know. I don't understand why you would step on your own moment. Like you don't have to. You know, he's trying to elevate his own moment. But he's that's whack. To... You can't pull yourself up by stepping down on other people, especially people in one of the most popular sports in the world. Do, do you do you know basketball is the third most watched sport in the world? Well, yeah, it's it's soccer. Yep, football, cricket, and fucking. Basketball. I think Formula One is in there as well. Uh, top three is uh, cr soccer, cricket, and football. I mean, yeah, soccer, cricket, and basketball. My point with that is these are the most popular, richest players in the world. You want them supporting you. You Google this guy's no. name this year, I mean, this week, that's all you see. Yeah. Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, Aaron Gordon, Drake, clap back. You know what I mean? Like and America like loves our sprinters. Come on. Yeah. And why shit on American sports? Also, why shit on a sport where, like, there are skills that are required? There's skills required in track. Oh, God. No, 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 no. There's definitely skills required in track. Well, if you, if you go like that fast, then you can... <laughs> nah, there's skills required in track. Any fucking sorry. idiot can run track. Oh, like, shit. Here we go. Yo, let's go. Literally, literally, <laughs> it is the sport that the let's dumbest go. people can do. Oh, when you look shit. At, when you look at the Special Olympics, what's the one they always get right? When you look at the Special Olympics, what's the one they always get right? They can let them go straight. They're not worried about them doing the running ones. When they're doing the pole vault or something with sharp shit, they go, okay, this might be an issue. <laughs> but when it comes to running straight, nobody at the Special Olympics is worried that they're going to fuck nah, that they up. Good. They're good at basketball, too. You could literally have Cause they can dribble syndrome. And you could run 100 meters straight <laughs> mm -hmm. easily. Word. Basketball Schultz. requires Word. intellect. Schultz. It requires brain power. Schultz. It requires skill. Schultz. Are you talking about with the relay two on track? Cause that's the skill. Like you yo, have track, to have good track handoffs. representatives. I'm gonna tell you right now. If Taylor about to defend y'all, if Come Taylor on. about to be y'all representative yeah, I don't know right now, I know. why you gonna do this, Taylor? <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna give a fuck. Yo, let me let you know. Hand to another human being. <laughs> it is. Yes, it is. Yo, it's did you see the idiots? Yo, did my you nigga. See the idiots? How do you know? Stop. Have you not seen? Um, people mess up on the baton. Not being able to can the baton. Nigga, it's hard. They're coming at full speed. Andrew, they're coming at full speed. 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 They're coming at full
U.S. championship as well. Obviously, the women are better at grabbing it, but the men were not as familiar. <laughs> no, the women, the, the women, the ones who fumbled in the fall. No, yeah, they, they did fumble. No, they did fumble. They're lesbos. They, and, and they still won. They still They're won. They're lesbos. I'm going to tell you something. Yo. Hi, this You're is being disrespectful. You've never seen the men hand it off. No, no, no. Yes, I have. No, 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 no. What are you talking about? I want to tell everybody. They no homo. That's why I want to tell everybody out there that runs track. Can you hold it on to a baton while another man holds it with Andrew Schultz. This is going to be the time Andrew gets smoked. Mm. Wait, why? You're saying that it requires more intellect? Playing track requires more you, playing track? What do you call it? Did you see? <laughs> running amok? Did you, you think, even you see think who running won? amok requires you more intellect? Did you ever see who won? Did you ever see who won? I'm going to tell you what it is. Than being an offensive lineman? Yeah, than being crazy. a center? You sound crazy. Than being a You sound crazy, Andrew. Than being a middle linebacker? You sound crazy. Reading the entire defense? You sound crazy. Reading what 12 people are going to do at one point in time? You think that takes as much as... You're judging me. You're running a circle. You're judging me. You're running a circle. You're judging this off the one track, the <laughs> former track runner you beat. That, that's what you're judging me off of? I don't count being women, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't count. You're judging that. this off Taylor, fair. and that's not fair that's to not, all the other track all, people. Well, first listen, of all, if, that shouldn't even be the fucking judgment. Why didn't you're you talking use your about, brain to beat me in that race? Well, let's call, let's <laughs> My nigga, what you happened last time? Why didn't you race? use, you want me to start again? Yeah, start again. Start again. Start again. You got something for me? Start again. Let's play this game. I'm going to call one of my... Let's play this game. Track stars. So, huh, what did you say about track stars again? No, I said you... you they okay, require the cool. lowest amount of intelligence to do of any sport. That's... Anyone could run, I mean, Andrew. This past, no, you no making one's, my point? No, 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 nah, no. But, but you're missing week, the point. You had Kevin Hart. Say again? Yeah, Kevin Hart go down. That, that running ain't that but easy. But he knew which direction like to go. Is that what you're basing all it off of? His muscles did. There's, Wait. There's, you know, his muscles gave up because he's 40. Yeah. But when he was younger, his brain didn't give up. He knew where to go. I think it was dehydration. Not... There it is. Dehydration. It, it, dehydration and he didn't stretch. Mm. Damn, she's under the dryer right now at the hair salon. But... <laughs> no one's. I said, can I call you on podcast real quick? Why are we? Are we really gonna make y'all? Hold on. I you said, said Schultz said no, track stars Andrew, required the lowest amount of intelligence to run. She put, oh shit. She said, damn it, I'm under the dryer at the hair salon. I'm just saying... <laughs> Playing a playing basketball, if you're a point guard, right? You're a shoot like Kobe's knowledge of the game is unprecedented. Magic Johnson's knowledge of the game is unprecedented. Steve Nash's knowledge of the game is unprecedented. You're gonna compare that skill set, what Messi does on a soccer you're field. You're comparing that. They're two different I think skills. It's the, I, think it's, I, think, I think it's the same. One is Taylor Swift. Oh my God. I think it's the same. No way. You know why I think it's the same? Because I think it's a certain mind muscle connection you have to have when you're running track. Oh you my do. God, it bro. is. Oh my God. When it comes to the really no, 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 why can I play along? You were serious. You were dead serious. I was. You were dead serious. Were dead serious. You know, somebody, somebody on Instagram said, Taylor Ryder, die with the lie. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, you know what? track star, Andrew, literally. Andrew, you, but you don't understand. You don't know. Your market's like, oh, they just start running. <laughs> like, they don't even think. They'll just start running in Andrew, the middle of the conversation. So I used to do this with my track buddy. I used to do this with my track buddy. We'd be at the bar drinking beers. They go, on your mind? They go, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, 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 Let's go! Sorry. And they just start running immediately. <laughs> mind muscle yeah. connection, though. They, they don't have mind. Stop saying that shit. It doesn't shit. require mind. But, it no, doesn't but require look, mind. Can I tell All my you track something? stars, can I, I tell disagree. You something? Listen, when people track run, look, look, what? when they run the mile, right? Yeah, yeah. They, in the last mile, they have to gain some type. In the last type... mile of the mile? Okay, you I'll say the last, the last 100 meters. The last. Do y'all see how it's come back here right now? Do y'all see what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. That's it. That's all I'm saying. In the last mile of the mile. In the last mile of the mile. When they I run told the mile, the last mile I of the mile. I told y'all if Taylor was going to be your representative, <laughs> this wasn't going to go I'm saying, this is you. <laughs> this is the whole thing. You guys, the last, the, last, the last 400, 200 meters, 
They have the to work. The last 400 of a 200 meters? I said, I'm going to walk out the nigga, fucking room. Nigga, that's not what the fuck I I'm said. I'm going to walk out the fucking room. Can you listen to what I'm saying? That is what you said. No, I, said, what you said. I said either the, the last, last 400 I said either of, the last 400 or the 200 meters. When she calls me the N-word, you know it's serious. Because you're pissing me the fuck off. Listen the to what I'm fucking saying. The last 400 meters. The track starts very easy to anger. Very easy, to, <laughs> very easy to rock up. Very easy to rock up. No, it's just me. Now, no, it's a track star thing. Listen. Yes, go, go. In the last, <laughs> you did. You did look like you were about to run down. I'm not gonna lie. On that last go, you did do. You did do a little something. You lean back. <laughs> She was about to go for real. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can rile them up, bro. You oh can rile my them god! Up. I did, I, don't, I disagree. I think track stars are intelligent. I think no, it no, takes no. Them. I didn't say that there, there That's are. That's exactly what you said. No, don't I say said no. it requires the least amount of intelligence. It's not what the fuck you said. No, I didn't say track stars are dumb. I said it requires the least amount of intelligence to run straight. You could have the smartest person in the world that's a track star. Of course, they would waste their intelligence on it. <laughs> but but you can't have it. It doesn't mean. What I'm saying is to play a, play the center position in the NFL, to play quarterback, to play middle linebacker, come on, bro. What else does they got to remember playbooks? But Ray think- Lewis had the entire defense memorized. He knew every fucking play coming at him. To play safety in I'm the sure, NFL? I'm sure so why are you a- even comparing? But I'm sure it's a lot of stuff like do. that in track, right? Don't they teach y'all stuff when y'all run? I mean, I know you haven't done it in a while, Taylor, but don't they teach y'all like... We have to run out the blocks. We have to learn how to run out the blocks. Yeah. Have you ever run out the blocks before? <laughs> I spun the block. <laughs> Shultz going to be somewhere with his phone. Yeah. And all he's going to do is somebody going to snatch it. <laughs> exactly. Like, what the fuck? And I'm going to go, false start. <laughs> and they're going to go, damn, fuck, okay. Here, sorry. I thought I went and go. Here, let's try it again. Let's try it again. I'm telling you, that's all you oh got. Are you just saying because of running is easy? That's what you're trying to say? Running yeah, is I'm, not I'm, easy. I mean, I'm just fucking around. But what I'm saying is you're just running straight. And track stars track don't run like normal people. Track isn't just running straight. It's 200 track stars before don't you're run running like on a curve. People. No, I'm not going to lie. To like be able they, to they run. Be, they be down. To, to run, run in a turn. Exactly. Run you have to do all that too. Be, geez, it's so <laughs> Come on. No, you do. First no. of all, y'all haven't ran track. Y'all haven't run. You don't know what it's like. But Charlamagne is right, though. You have to start up. No, how you just described exactly what we have to do. When you have to just pop up, you're going to mess up your... Strong. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you, why are you laughing? Why are you running? <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? So, 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 the point is not that track stars are dumb. Okay? That's, I don't know what you're trying to prove. But the point is not that track stars are dumb. The point is you don't, I'm not, no, I'm you don't need to be a genius to be a track star. I'm, no one's saying that either. I don't either. know I believe that. I think you got to watch your nutrition. You know what I mean? I think there's a lot of different things that go into being a tractor. I don't know anything. Charles, you I mean, really doing that's something, just bro. You try to rile her up. That's what you're doing. <laughs> you really are trying to no. rile her up. No. Wait, Charles made a point. Yo, you have good. to watch your nutrition. <laughs> You know what I'm Charles, saying? Yo, you got to keep your weight. No way. You got to keep your weight guy. down. No, you don't. Don't. <laughs> this guy is Charles. fucking an insane person right Charles. now. Like, Stop. what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to tell you all of the things. It's just like a boxer, okay? Don't do that. When a boxer's trying to make weight... Right? The nutrition aspect of what they do is just as important as the athletic stuff. So everything got to be measured correctly. You got to drink a certain amount of water. You got to eat the right amount of food. It got to be the same thing with track. Who are you talking about? I, I will not. First of all, not a one Yo, time look at Taylor and say, that? what are you talking about? Did I do that to her? At a, that was I'm, I'm on her that side. Was great. I'm on her he, side. He, he did you know what I'm saying? He did I had her back the whole time. Now, I was right here saying exactly. No, but now exactly, you're just being an exactly. asshole. Now you're being an asshole. Because you know that's not <laughs> all that goes into it. He was literally making an argument for you. Look it up. Look it up. Look up what goes into being a But that goes into all sports. You should be having good nutrition. What are you talking about? I think it's a lot different with track. With track, you really need to be on it, bro. Look it up. Like, like Wheaties, like what, that's it. What, what, what does it take to be a track star? You need to be able to go, you need to be able to turn left a little, to the left, to the left. <laughs> you need up. to be able to turn <laughs> Google left it, a little Alice. bit. Google it, Alice. Why y'all Google it? What does it take or to go be a track straight. star? You just gotta be fast. Yeah, no, it's, it's literally not, just it's not it's not literally, that, no, It is, It's like saying, being in the NBA, you just gotta be tall. Well, no, that helps. It, helps. it helps. It does the majority of the work. Let's look it up. I, you know if what? If you're seven feet, you can be in the NBA. This is crazy. What? It is just insane to me. What? Are we really making the argument that 
Running straight requires all of your mental I energy. Say running straight. I just can't believe the talk of nutrition caused such animosity in this. Yo, that is crazy. Why, why, why did that? Why did you like, get so why? angry at him, yo? That's fucked up. Why? You had your back. Now watch, when you look up what it takes to be a track star, really, nutrition is on here. I don't want to know. I really hate both of y'all. What does it say? What does it take Alex? to be a track star? Y'all are scum between you. Scum? <laughs> We're scum? You have to, scum find, you have to find a goal that really <laughs> inspires you. A goal? Yeah. You have okay. to slow down. Huh? I hate y'all. <laughs> I hate y'all so much. You have to so take much. 180 steps every minute. What? 90 per leg. This is what it takes to be a good track star. Run trails. Run for over 45 minutes or an hour. You need to take in some nutrition. There you go. Boom! There you go. Apologize to me, Taylor. <laughs> okay, no, look at what it is. Look no, you at what it is. No, look up. at what it is to be a great boxer. Look at what it is to be a great basketball player. No, I folk. think it's different with track. Like, are you, you trying to make Andrew's argument right? Yeah, I think you're trying to make <laughs> no, my argument. No, he's not making an argument right, there? too. All you keep talking about is running in a straight line. There's more than just that. Uh, okay, okay. what are the other things it. you got to do to, to do track? <laughs> it just to keep it. I already told you. <laughs> you got to jump, jump, jump far, jump no, far. When it comes to the relay and stuff like that, it takes a lot of work M- to get it mind. straight. Yeah. Right. So anything four-year-olds can do, you can do as a track star, right? <laughs> Jumping in the sand. I you, man. Four-year-olds, right? You take your kid to the sand, they jump in it. That's the thing, right? I can't wait to fight you. <laughs> Wait, Why do you want to fight me? I, 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 I don't think we should have this conversation no more because there's no track people in here. Listen, this is why we... <laughs> This that's <laughs> now everybody's taking shots. Everywhere. Look, look, I don't look, even look, know look, what look, to look. do. To <laughs> maximize strength gains and enhance recovery training sessions, you have to have high protein diets within 30 minutes of training. It is important to eat throughout the day before practice. Low energy leads to poor training sessions. Running in multiple heats are events throughout the day. It says nutrition is one of the top things when it comes to running track. That's facts. That's facts. And you have to remember this type of shit because you can't eat too much. It's the same thing with boxing. You can't eat too much. Because you don't want to get overweight. But you need exactly to eat enough. Exactly I said. The same thing with other, so, other sports. You make it seem like it's just track. It says eating during a long run will help keep you moving and replenish what you're burning. Mm. It's more, I think it's worse. And, the only reason, and by the way, you know the only reason I know that? What? The fucking flash. That's right, because the flash is burning calories The flash like has crazy. to eat all the fucking time. Yo, can the I flash ask, eats all the time. Can I ask you a question? Nah, what is the hardest point. That's a good point. Uh, track event mentally? What is the one that's like really putting hurdles. mental stress? Hurdles. Got to be hurdles. Hurdles? Hurdles. <laughs> okay. Because you're running full speed and jumping over them shit. So, yeah, running and jumping. That's different, bro. That is different. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck are you eating <laughs> nuts <laughs> like that? <laughs> you're, you're a crazy guy. So, <laughs> so, so, what do you think? What do you think the toughest, like this? only the smartest track stars can do it? Which one? I'm not having this conversation with you guys. Just which one? If we could just. I refuse. Which I'm not one? I'm listen to no more with y'all. Let right. me yell and I don't feel like doing that. What I'm else on we a got to Spiritual Taylor? journey and y'all not respecting me. <laughs> what else we got, Taylor? Uh, what else we got, Taylor? Andrew done pissed off the whole track community. Why? They would agree. Every track person would agree with me. They'd you be like, yeah, we're not using sh- our fucking brain during that's this, gonna- but we happen to be the best athletes on the planet. We're the mm-hmm. fastest human mm-hmm. beings on the planet. Not, that's not how you said it, so stop. I said it that way that's the entire time. All the time, I thought it was going to be some other tees that took us out, but nope. We'll be the track stars. <laughs> no, shout out track stars. Yeah, that's good. You know what I mean? Like, start winning. What, what else are you we got? talking about? I don't like it when America loses in track, bro. I grew they up. They think he was killing. I grew up with Carl Lewis, bro. The dude that we can't even remember his Noah name Lyles. is now. Noah Lyles. He busted ass. Shakari Richardson busted Shikari ass. Shakari busted ass. The USA swept in the four by hundred. Was Jamaica Both competing? Both of them, yes. But yeah, because Jamaica we don't beat play. Them. Yeah, Jamaica does not we beat play. Beat them after a couple years. Actually. Salute they to young didn't. Miami. Young Miami, stop cop blocking your daddy. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh. As your daddy is single. And, you know, he's available. Let them women get be in your daddy DMs. Ew. Because daddy got to have a life, too. What's going Go on? Go ahead, right Carlos here? Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Young Miami daddy is Carlos Miller. My guy, Carlos. That is the deacon if I ain't never seen the deacon. But they ain't Carlos. Y'all talk. The only reason we think he look like Carlos because of the beard, yeah. the hat, no, but and Car- the outfit. Yeah, Carlos. Yeah. That's Carlos. Shout out Carlos, but that's not Carlos. That is not Carlos. Don't disrespect yeah, him. That's exactly yeah. how Carlos dances, too. Nah, stop playing. Yo. It is. Stop playing. <laughs> I, nah, I swear nah, I've seen nah. him do it on stage a couple of times. Stop that. Y'all are acting crazy. Salute to that man right there. Yeah, right You're acting disrespectful right now. That man DM is going to be flooded. <laughs> flooded. How old is your Miami daddy? Wait. OG's out here killing it, man. You hear me? That's OG's out here killing it. 
Yes, sir. We were having a conversation earlier. I feel like a lot of women nowadays want older men. Oh, what do you mean nowadays? It's always been like that. Of course. You think so? Of course. I think it's a little. Di- I think it's a little bit more different now. Well, well, why now? Why do you think? Because I'm old. <laughs> 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 Cause I'm old, you know, and I want to be reminded I still got it, which I do, which they do remind me. Cause they call me Uncle. When Snacky. you say when you say still got it, still got it with like in what way? I don't. I, I just I, just, I just, I like when they call me Uncle Snacky. Why? Cause it makes me feel good. It don't make you feel good when somebody tells you you look good. Uncle Snacky makes you feel good though. Yes. Okay. Snack. Same reason your Instagram is fun size T. I oh. have a reason for that though. What, what is, is the reason? reason? Because I saw a shirt when I was younger in middle school, and it said, I'm not short, I'm fun size. And I was like, oh, there we go. Oh, so you were flipping it I like that. You were taking it back. You were taking back right. the power. Exactly. Damn, I feel, like you, I feel like you're angry at me right now. Right? I, I, I do, am. too. I feel so. I just, just go Why is she angry at me? What the fuck did I do? Because y'all she- think... Shit's fun and games. <laughs> Yo, that being nice. We were talking about <laughs> track. It is fun and games. Yeah. yeah my girl said, my homegirl said, an ignorant, an ignorant person would think that because everybody can run. Exactly. I like that word. Just ask her, what requires more mental strength? Playing quarterback or playing uh, point guard or running straight? I, I think it this requires the most. Do you know what you also have to do while playing basketball, Chris? So you can take time run straight. It's the same thing with track, too. I get what you're saying. It's Basketball like, is track and bouncing. I think the thing that we're not taking into consideration with track runners is their form. You like have to hold a lot more information in your head playing basketball on football. There's no question. Yeah. But the thing is, you can take breaks in those sports. Track, it's a shorter period, definitely cross country. It requires a lot of mental stamina just to keep going because your body wants to shut down. So when it, if you're talking about strength, I can see it. Actual intelligence and information, basketball. Chris, you don't pushing. think that your body wants to shut down playing basketball? You see these guys throwing up on the sides. You see yeah, that's why guys don't get back on defense. That's why they don't run the lane because they're like, yo. Yeah, that's why people take it easy in track. Well, if you take it coast. easy in track, it's over. You go, you take it easy somewhere. <laughs> take a break. How you know I asked her, I said, what requires more yeah. mental strength? Like, what type of track? <coughs> when I was young, I would run track. Right? Like, what type of track? Cross-country? No. Outdoor? Race walk. I would do 100 <laughs> meters. That's a race walk. I did. I, I ran the race walk. I got, and that's I got why. race walk hips. I do have race walk you hips. Race walk did hips. you really do the race walk? I did. I, was a, I got bronze. In race walk when I was a kid. Race walk is the most stupidest. Why are you shitting wow. on people's sports? It is. Wow. Hello, hello, it is it, stupid it because we're li- aren't we there to run or do any of the field events? You, Why are you walking? You know it's gonna be funny, right? Though you know it's gonna and be funny. Walking doesn't require shit. You're gonna be getting challenged every time you walk down the street now. Every time you walk down the street, motherfucker will be walking up to you going. Look, I'm in New York. <laughs> <laughs> look, in New York. No, no, but look, that's a real shit. And I got this thing. I got this thing. You doing the walk race because it is fucking walk race in New York. How people be okay, walking fast. Okay, she said. I said, what requires more mental strength? Playing quarterback, point guard, or running? She said, it's not a comparison. I said, that's what he's comparing. She said, they all require different skills. She said, mental strength as far as what? (laughs) I don't even think she can have this combo, bro. I don't think she can have this combo, bro. She's a gold medalist. So, So in what? Track. What what uh uh, uh I just I just was uh she was uh so four by right. four hundred relay four by one hundred relay 400 too? and sixty meters. Four hundred meters is hard to run if you. Four hundred meters hard as hell to run. I've done it. She won gold That's in all of those. That's amazing. Yeah, she won gold in the hundred meters in uh, the USA Outdoor Track and Field Championship. She's a world champion. Yeah, she's smoke shit. What's your time in the 400? You said what? Me? What's your time? Hers or mine? Both, I, I guess. She just said all require a, a certain skill. 48 seconds. And the 400? What are we doing? Can we do As the ads? As a guy? That's bad. A little bit. Too much tail on the pod. It's a 12 second split of the hundreds. <laughs> What's your 40 time? What 400 I was time? in the 400 run. I ran 200 and What'd you get in 200? My fastest time was 25.5, and then for 100, it was 11.6. 
Ain't no I'm way. Three, three six got, forty, uh, yo. I have a, I have the gold medal. I'll bring him in next week. Yo, bring in them gold medals because I smoked you in the hundred, and I'm not running no eleven five. I she ran that in when high I was in high school. school. <laughs> exactly, I was in high school. I'm a forty year old man. She was in high school. What does that have to do with anything? I'm not running like that anymore. <laughs> I told y'all to go to commercials. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is going to get stupid. Right? Taylor's going to try to fight everybody in here. I want to fight all y'all nah, now. Nah, nah, nah. Why? Nobody wants to fight. Chris is the only person I don't want to fight. He's so violent what about for me? no reason. I ain't do fuck, nothing. Fuck what about me? Alex? That's crazy. Why are you upset at me? What did I do besides have a great argument? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do besides have a great argument? I hate y'all. Can y'all read it? Salute to the OG Steve Harvey. Yes, sir. Okay, y'all need to get off Steve, man. I'm tired of having Steve come out here and having to explain himself mm -hmm. to you motherfuckers for no reason, all right? Mm -hmm. But salute to Steve. Elevate you. Fantastic water. Thanks. Fantastic products. Throw me something. Throw me, throw me that bag, Taylor. You know what I mean? Throw it. Don't try to hit me with it, you evil human, you. Elevate you. Vitality Daily Greens, okay? I got to tell you about these Vitality Daily Greens, all right? They keep us all feeling fresh, healthy, and energized, all right? Elevate you, co-founded by Steve Harvey. And Taylor is going to just roll over the copy as I'm reading. You know what I'm saying? I had something good going, but no! Taylor! Gotta be Taylor. <laughs> Co-founded by Steve Harvey and formulated by Harvard scientists, this game-changing formula boosts your body's microchondrial production, providing you with sustained energy throughout the day. No more relying on coffee or unhealthy energy drinks to get you going. It's packed with over 30 superfoods, vitamins, and minerals to feel energized, focused, and ready to tackle your day. Perfect for track stars. All right? <laughs> 30 superfoods per serving, 9 greens per serving. Clinically studied probiotics contains fruit, vegetables, and mushrooms. Okay, it's a nice little blend. I know how hard it is to stay on top of your health and nutrition game. Sometimes it feels like there just aren't enough hours in the day to get everything done. But with Elevate You, you don't have to worry about that anymore, okay? This stuff is packed with all the nutrients and vitamins you need to keep your body running like a well-oiled machine. Keyword, running! Track stars. And the best part is super easy to use. Just mix a scoop into your water, a juice, and boom, you're good to go. And it comes in three delicious flavors, chocolate, uh, tart cherry, and original greens. What I'm holding right now is the chocolate flavor. Okay, and check this out. Elevate You also has a 60-day money-back guarantee. If you are not 100% satisfied, they'll refund your full purchase price. All right, take control of your health today and experience more daily energy with Elevate You, Vitality Daily Greens. Okay, go to Elevate You, L-E-V-A-T-E-Y-O-U.com and use promo code IDIOTS for 15% off your entire purchase. Let's get back to the show. Salute to our guy, Steve Harvey, man. But also, this show has been brought to you by... Fume. Look at this delicious device right here, okay? This is what you're going to do. This is what you're going to toke on because there's absolutely nothing bad in it at all. And you can get these little flavored capsules that are flavored with essential oils. It's super healthy. It taps into all your fidgeting needs. And you know what? Now you don't need any of those bad habits that could actually hurt you. This is what you have right here. This will take care of your oral fixation, fellas. You might not want to admit it, but it's there. Mmm. Ah, oh, absolutely delicious. This is going to change your life. It will extend your life. It is the best thing for your life. I'm telling you, Trifume has got your back and you know what you're gonna do? You are going to head to trifume.com and use the code IDIOTS to save 10% off when you get the journey pack. That's trifum.com and use the code IDIOTS to save an additional 10% off your order today, okay? Head to trifume.com slash idiots and use goods idiots to save 10% off your order today. I'm telling you right now, this right here is the habit that is going to fix it all. Trifume, code idiots. Boom. Let's get back to the show. Let's do some asking idiots, Taylor gang. Taylor gang gang. I love Taylor. I hate when you do that. <laughs> I hate when you do that shit. Because you, right when you make fun of me, then you want to be like, come on, Taylor gang, like just try to perk me up. It doesn't work on me. Why can't? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> what just happened? You know you do that. Though. I love Taylor. I love you. I've I, what do I tell you all the time? I know you love I'm me. I'm the only person who love. believes in you. 
<laughs> uh, that's one of the greatest compliment disses I've ever heard in my life. I say that to her all the time. I'm the only person that believes you. Bro, that is a mind fuck right there, bro. That is a mind fuck, dude. It's not a mind it's fuck. You're crazy. Why is that, that fucked is up? So I didn't think about that. Hold on. I'm the only person that You could that just say, I believe in you. But you also need to let her know, ain't nobody no else believe in her. No, I think what I'm trying to tell her is I believe in her so much that I don't no know if else, everybody else believes in her the way that I do. That's a way oh, better okay. version than saying, yo, everybody else thinks you suck except me. Well, it's kind of true. <laughs> this but they're wrong. We're going to prove them wrong, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor made it productions, baby. You Taylor keep going. Made Taylor, Taylor made it productions. Made it. Taylor, Taylor made it. 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 Y'all are Taylor. really making me regret <laughs> saying Taylor made it. Why? <laughs> yeah, it's how, fine. We got it. Taylor made it. Taylor made it. But you're saying it right, but it's just, it's now it looks silly. Everybody that listens to Breakfast <laughs> Club, silly everybody that listens to Breakfast Club knows Taylor does the best imaging in the fucking world. Damn right. I've been trying to tell her for the longest, Taylor, you are a genius at imaging. Keep focusing on imaging. She's been focusing on imaging. She makes everybody Explain feel what good. Imaging is for people. Imaging is when you hear like the donkey of the day intros or the Breakfast Club intros say live from the Black Mothership or when we have all the different guest co-hosts and like, you know, Jess with the Mess has her Jess with the Mess and her news is real. Or like, don't call me white girl was on this week. Taylor did a special customized intro for her. All of these people love these it's customized all this audio intros. editing that basically uh, yes. really increases the production value of a segment because yes. like, oh, this is a real segment. Yes, and there's a lot of people nowadays who don't know how much money you can make doing other things other than being talent. Mm -hmm. As long as I've been doing radio, I've only known one imaging person, and that was Dr. Dave. Salute to Dr. Dave, you know. <sighs> Drama started doing it a few years ago, DJ Drama. And, you know, DJ Drama, it, it became a very lucrative thing for Drama at one point. There we go. Taylor isn't a voice, but Taylor can take voices and produce voices and make those voices sound amazing. She makes the imaging sound amazing. She gets the right elements from movies and TV shows and all types of other stuff. And she takes direction very well. It's actually the only time she takes very well direction, <laughs> very good direction. You tell Taylor to do anything else. She won't do it. It's go She's going to do it, but it's going to be fucked up. Yeah. Right? <laughs> she eventually, she might eventually get it right. She'll get it right eventually. But when it comes to that imaging, yeah. I can see the twinkle in her eyes. It, it's, she's passionate about, passionate it. about it. She loves it. Loves. You know what I mean? She loves. enjoys it. And enjoys I know it. that's what she should be doing. And it's, it's, you've already started to see some benefits from it, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Wait, so, what's so. going on? What's going on? People are hitting her up. Tell them. Give them the, tell them where they find you, Taylor. <laughs> Um, I actually just made my own page on Instagram called Taylor Made It. And you can do imaging not just for radio. You can do it for podcasts. Podcast, you can do it for That's anything. right. Mm -hmm. That's Taylor right. Made It. Taylor Made It. Yeah. What is it? At Taylor Made It? Uh, yeah, at Taylor Made It Productions, underscore productions. Um, or you can just find it on my page, fun size underscore T, which I'm probably going to be changing. But, uh, Wait, why just are you going to be changing it? Because everyone's telling me to, just to really brand it. You're grown now. Get rid of, yeah. Yeah, fun size T is silly. It's silly. You're too old. You don't think so, Andrew? <laughs> I don't know. I've known you as fun size. Me too. For so that's, long. Why, that's why. You're I'm too like... old for that, Taylor. <sighs> okay, well, let's go to Emily. Email... Stop it, dude. Y'all can email me, um, Taylor. <laughs> What? <laughs> I can tell he's holding I something know. back. I am fucking, not. You can I'm tell looking I'm looking at this fucking. I'm looking at God talking to Taylor through asking idiot. M. Wilso83, what's one thing that you thought was really fun in I your 20s that email you think out. is stupid now? Excuse me. One size T. Now go do your email. Wait, what? What? <laughs> um, y'all could y'all mess this whole thing up. Y'all can contact me at TaylorMadeItProd P R O D at gmail.com right now. Boom. Taylor made it prod at what you say? Gmail.com. Gmail. 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 <laughs> yes. All right. M. Wilson 83 says, what's one thing that you thought was really fun in your 20s that you think is stupid now? Shit. Damn near everything. <laughs> yeah. Facts. We had, so we had a good ass time in our 20s. But boy, when you look back on it, you like, that. that's what your 20s are for. Yup. Your 20s are to do stupid shit. Yup. Like getting head, bro. That shit is dumb now. That shit is so <laughs> fucking stupid. Why? 
Because you're not getting any. <laughs> Bro, that's for your 20s, dude. You know what I mean? That ain't for your fucking 30s and 40s blowjobs. You your 30s and 40s, dude? Get out of here. What are you guys, that crazy? Be fun, man. What are you guys, crazy? You know what's so interesting, though? And me and Duval talk about this all the time. Head? <laughs> <laughs> Duval calls it. Yo, I had some ideas about blowjobs. You want to go over it for a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> you're not really young. You're not as young for as long as you think you are. Oh. You're old. If you're blessed, you're older way longer than you're younger. Because we decide old is like 30. So think yeah. about it. If you could live to 100, you spent 70% of your life old. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because you're, 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 you're a child, mm -hmm. right? And then when you're out and about, you're a teenager. Yeah. And then it's your 20s. You really ain't as young in your 20s as you think, right? Like, if you somebody, like, if you're 20, 21, yeah, you still there. Yeah. But how long does that last? Till 25? To 30. I think to you 30, got to 30, yeah. yeah. But once you hit 30, what do yeah, you got to start you, doing? Yeah, once you're in your 30s. You got to stop sucking yeah. cocks all the fucking time. That's for a fact. <laughs> yeah, because you're 10 years from 40. And, you know, Biggie said being broke at 30 give a brother the chills. So some people might say, which I think is wrong, if you're not where you want to be at 30... You know, you're saying you kind of you kind of failing in life. I don't agree with that. Nah. You know what I mean? Not. I don't agree with that. I think that, you know, it takes time, but I think that you got to let go of a lot of a uh, 20-year-old mentality. Like, the sure. problem is there's a lot of y'all that's in y'all 30s, and y'all still moving and thinking like y'all did in y'all 20s, and that shit is actually keeping you stuck on stupid. That's Because when, you, when you're 20, five years from now, you can say, okay, I'll be 25. When you're 25, you can say five years from now, I'll be 30. When you start getting 33, 34... 35, that five years from now, you hitting 38, 39, 40, baby. And once you hit 40 and you still doing the same old shit you were doing at 20, God bless. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God bless. Shit about to be rough for you. Damn, bro, that was intense. Nah, just put it out there. Um, cause I, you know, I, 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 sometimes I be seeing these people and they be talking like they so, they so young. Yo, you might, you 35. Yes, you might be younger than me. But you hold the cost or not. <laughs> that's right? facts. Though. Okay, you are ancient as fuck. So you trying to keep up with them. And that's the problem. They trying to keep up with them. Don't do it. Like Kai got his own lane. He's 20-something years old, 21 years old. That's his era. That's his thing. Mm -hmm. He's different. You better figure something else out, you 34, 35-year-old head ass. Um, Quiz 100. Would you fight Floyd and last three three-minute rounds for 50 million? Or not fight him for one mil. Ooh. Not fight him for one mil. Because I'm not lasting three, three-minute rounds with Floyd. No chance. I don't think people realize how long three minutes in a in a round a boxing ring is. It's not even. I really I, and I know y'all hear that. I'll go three rounds. That's nine minutes. That's easy. No, it is not. With somebody relentlessly attacking you, you have no skill set. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know how to bob. You don't know how to fucking weave. And you're trying to swing back. He might knock you the fuck out. There's no guarantee that you're going to last three minutes yeah. in a ring with Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, 100%. Nah. You're not going to just try to run and hold? Just try to get through the round? Yeah. That's not exactly what I would do. I wouldn't hold. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold him. Motherfucker be hitting you all in the ribs and shit. I yeah. would run. Yeah, I'd run. I'd run. I'd definitely run. Um, Omar, scroll up. What else? <laughs> would, would you hold put? On. Oh, yeah, go scroll back up. Scroll, scroll back, back up. Scroll up. Back. This is a good one. Omar Salazar, would. ninety-five. Would you put Taylor in jail for one year, and you automatically get five million? That's fucked up. You're not trying to split that. Y'all gonna split it with me when I come out? Of course. Of course. Because we're definitely sending you to jail. Yeah, you're going. <laughs> you got to you're go. Going. So it's Why? So it's you got to go. Come on, bro. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> though, I'm not mad at it because I heard. Never mind. I'm not going to say it. Yo, say it because what you say is fire. I agree with you. I agree with you. You're a girl. Jail ain't that bad. I heard jail's not that bad. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Spent one weekend in Tampa. One, watch one weekend in Tampa, One bro. season That's of Orange is the New Black. Come on. You know why I'm saying that? Because I know someone that just actually came out of jail recently. How old are About a year. Boy or girl? It's a girl. She had a book club in there. She had her phone, watching TV. 
Seems like head. a good time for me. He getting head. <laughs> I'm saying I'm on your side, yo. I'm on your side. That's the only place you would get head at 39 <laughs> or 40. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, look, come on, you gotta go to jail. <laughs> Hold yeah, on, t- how much you splitting? I should get most of it. No, we give you a hundred. Give you a hundred grand. Yeah, yeah. Out of five million. A hundred grand out of five million. They offer this offers for us. Yeah, it ain't for you. <laughs> this is the charity we give it. They say, would you put tail in jail? I'm assuming that you is me and Andrew. Yeah. Would you put tail in jail for a year and you automatically get five mil? We give you a hundred each. So <sighs> two point four, two point four thousand. Hundred to That's you. That's crazy. How much you want? Two fifty? I want at least. Two mil. Oh, get out of here. Two what are you million. talking about? Just That's to be in jail, crazy. like for you, you to said, have fun? watching TV. Huh? You had, for, for you to have fun? Yeah. Getting your pussy ate. <laughs> exactly. Getting your nails done, reading books, talking about them. Actually, every time you called us from jail, whenever it sounded like you would have fun, I'd deduct money. Boom. 100%. Because <laughs> think about it, you don't even got to work. We still got to work. <laughs> we got to come to work That's every right. day. You out That's there right. getting your pussy ate. We got to find a new producer. Oh, my God. You know God. what I'm saying? It's an inconvenience for us, really. <laughs> it is. It really is an inconvenience for us. It is. It is. Actually, Inconvenience and peace for a year without Taylor. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, be careful what you wish for. You're right. Ooh. You're right, Taylor. That is absolutely right. You are absolutely right. <laughs> I was joking though. That was a lie. That was a bigger lie than me talking about Beyonce at, at uh, the Michael Jackson law. I would not know what to do without you for a year, Taylor. Oh, that I was really, beautiful. I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. But you're still going to jail. Um, <laughs> Alex Bus. What did that shit say? Do y'all do positive self talk? Oh no, and- let's do this one. This is a good one. Richie okay. Presents. But Andrew, how do you feel about YouTube channels, podcasts getting demonetized? Oh, I don't want podcast channels to get demonetized. This is the combo I've been having for They're months. Like what? And why I always say you can't build a sustainable business on YouTube. YouTube is for marketing and promotion. I disagree with that. Explain. I think it sucks when channels get demonetized. I also think that uh, YouTube is its, is its own business. They have the rules, and as long as they are forthcoming with the rules and they are fair with the rules across the board, that is their choice, and it's your choice to engage with them with that business. I think you can absolutely build a business on a platform, and as your business gets more visibility, you if you're not paying for the product, mm-hmm. right, you are the product. So, or whatever that saying is, if you're not paying for the product, you are the customer or whatever. I forget exactly what it is. It was used to describe social media. Point is, I don't want anybody to get demonetized. I don't want anybody to get demonetized for jokes. I want people to be able to speak freely. But it's, it is a company. They have the That's right, right to That's establish their own, rule, their own rules. That's all I'm so saying. So if, if you can't create authentically on that platform, you have to find a platform where you can create authentically, 100%. And that's all I'm saying. And that's why I don't understand when people have these conversations about ownership, but what you have is a YouTube channel. But YouTube channel is ownership. Let's say, for example, you it's make It's not ownership content. if somebody can tell you exactly what to do. But they can't. Well, let's say, for example, YouTube goes, hey, uh, you have a, a YouTube channel where you are um, opening presents. And YouTube is like, yeah, we love it, people that open presents. They can build a sustainable business on that. Sure. True. It's, it's, it's but, but, but they still, you're, you're absolutely right, but they still could if they wanted to. Put it this way. It's no different than, let's say you have a business. And, you gotta, and they don't tell you how much you make. They can, yeah, they they can dictate what you pay, what they pay you. At any given moment, that was one of the big. Th- I read a Time Magazine article about it, how all of these YouTube creators were upset because they were saying like, all of a sudden, the money they were making just changed. So go get your own ads like we do. That's the thing. You That's you can't just saying. sit back and be like, pay me. That's annoying. You got to go out and hustle and got to do your thing yourself. But right? even Build with that community. now, they're getting rid of third party ads. No. Yes, they are. No, they're no, getting no, sued no. right now. Oh, yes, no, they no, are. No. They cracking down on third party ads, show. I don't think that's true. Yes, they are. Chris, am I lying? They cracking down on third. They getting I, sued. I haven't seen that, but that's been the the fear that people have had. No, for a because long time. they want. Remember, they just got sued. Who got sued? Remember, it was Google. We just was talking about this. Somebody got sued. I think it's Google ads or somebody. Remember, they took YouTube to court and found out what was it, Alex? You know what I'm I, talking I, I, about. Somebody they did get sued. I just don't know. Yeah, and they they got to pay billions of dollars. To somebody, I forgot who it is, because of third-party ads. Hmm. 
All of it, all I'm saying is all of this shit is changing. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Well, listen, listen, listen. Telling. How is this any different than like you are renting a, a, a retail space in New York and you put a restaurant there and then your landlord starts to raise your rent? That's all I'm saying. Like, but you would still call that a real business. You would still call that restaurant a real business, but it has to change and evolve with the times, mm -hmm. right? And that restaurant has to change and evolve with the times. So if that neighborhood gets really popping and all of a sudden they double their rent, they have to decide if they're going to stay there or move somewhere else. And you do the same thing with your business digitally. You decide if you want to stay there or you want to move to a different platform that will accommodate the content you make. Or buy the fucking building. Or you buy the That's building. That's what I'm saying. That's why and I salute everybody who, I salute 85 South Show. I salute Kendra G. People that are starting their actual own apps. Yep. And they may not be they may not have, but you, you know, the millions, even, the millions yeah. of people that's on YouTube. But man, if you get 50,000 people, 100,000 people to pay. You can't even control that. Even if you have your own app. If you really piss people off, the credit card companies will say, well, we're not going to support your app. The app store really? will say, that happened to Alex Jones. If you say, uh, if you say, uh, uh, if you say fucked up shit, then maybe PayPal goes, oh, we don't want people allowed to use it. If you say fucked up shit on your app, the, the app store will go, we're not going to sell your products on the app store. So there's never this shit. comfortable situation where you're going to be good no matter what. What you have to go out there and do as any entrepreneur does is go out there and take that risk and then try to monetize your content that you make in the most authentic way possible. Simple and don't put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah, have multiple baskets. Have multiple motherfucking baskets. I like what 85 South Show is doing, using YouTube as a marketing promotional tool to push a lot of their new stuff and the OG stuff like, you know, the 85 South live shows or, you know, when they have guests like Nick Cannon and Birdman, you go to the, they go to the app for that. You know what I mean? So that means you got all of these different revenue streams coming in. You got your YouTube, you got your stream app, you got your stage show. I just feel like people got to be doing more than just being on these platforms. That's like on the, on the, on these platforms solely, especially when you're saying, Hey, this is my YouTube channel. I got my podcast here and it's a podcast network, which that really don't make no sense to me because YouTube is YouTube, podcast are podcast. I think they're two different revenue streams, two different ways of, you know, promoting whatever it is that you're doing, two different forms of entertainment. You know what I mean? Like I like to listen to podcasts. That's what I like to do. If I'm at home sitting on the couch, I might pull up the computer and watch it, especially if it's like some shit I want to see. Like you yeah. hear something, you're like, damn, I wonder what that, wonder what that looked like. Yeah. You know, but for the most part, I'm listening to podcasts. I see a lot of these people kind of hustling backwards just a little bit because they start their podcast via YouTube. I think you should start your podcast via audio and then give them the YouTube video. I disagree. That's I, what don't, I, I don't think that there's any searchable audio function right now to suggest you new podcasts. So it's very hard to get in front of people's eyes when you have just an audio podcast and that's just, uh, just a I problem. I think it might be harder with video. No, because with video, you can at least tag certain things. You can title it in certain ways. You can tag certain conversations that might get the algorithm to pick it up. And then you can make smaller clips that you put out there and you can have those clips feed the You speak from main the perspective episode. of somebody who's somebody. For these but people I who just started- somebody first when we first started this. You kind of were. You always, you, you know what I'm saying? We're you on had TV. Stand up, yeah. You had God code, stuff like that. Yeah, we're on when TV. these people just start from scratch, I'd be looking sometimes, man. But the audio. 100 views. But the which audio. Is great. No, no, no. But the audio is not going to get more just because it's there. People can't find it. I agree. There's no searchability for the audio. That's the only issue. That's why I leaned in so heavy to video from the beginning. I was like, there's no way to find a podcast unless your friend tells you. But with video, the algorithm can suggest it. But that's why I think you should do both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree yeah, completely. I think, should, I think you should do both. Do have both. your audio on your uh, your RSS feed and have yeah. the video up on YouTube 100%. at the same time. Like you said, multiple Something's going to catch. Yes. Multiple pots. Something hopefully will catch. But boy, I be looking at some of y'all, man, and I'm really starting to... Hmm. How can I say this in the nicest way? <laughs> no. You know how I like seeing people bomb? Yeah. Some of you motherfuckers that be talking the most shit, like really like trying to set yourself on fire to get people to pay attention. Oh, be bombing. And bro. you still don't have nobody watching? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hilarious to me. <laughs> yeah. Hilarious <clears throat> to me. But most of them, they just don't have the skill. Like, that's another thing. I've seen some people, I think I kind of know the... 
the the people you might be talking about. <laughs> and it's like, you watch it, it's like, oh, you trying to do an impression of someone else. Yes. You can't even be yourself. You're trying to do an impression of somebody else. And the people watching know it. They're like, you just don't have any personality. You're just not engaging enough for people to care about what you have to say. That's and right. that's just, that might be God. You know, like God makes up those decisions, right? That's some right. people can he do it, some people can't. You might want to stay ain't. at your day job. That's it. Don't quit your day job. That's it. That's all I'm simply saying. And it's yeah. not, and, and by the way, it's, it's just, it's just one of those things that's not for everybody. Yo, the um, funniest thing is when they do the biggest clickbait headline and that shit get nothing, bro. Because <laughs> you know that they were just toiling over that headline. <laughs> like, ooh, I got a video. This is going to crack. And, 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 and and the, and the crazy part is you talking shit about the people you should be learning from. That's that's my biggest thing. Like I, you know, I. I you, but sometimes young bucks think that's the only way they can get attention is by shit on the people ahead ahead of them because they're the only ones. Because they think that's what works. Yeah, yeah. Because they see that they. See and we all make that mistake. We've we've all made that mistake in our careers too. You and I both. So it's like, and then you learn when you get in position. You're like, oh wow. I could learn way more from these people, and these people would definitely take me under their wing, and they would probably help me with these things. So it, it depends. And the only reason I say it depends. You're absolutely right. I'm going to tell you what it depends on for me. It depends. A lot of this stuff, I don't hold them accountable for anybody because you don't know what you don't know. Yeah. So when I'm li so, so yes, you're going to sound extremely ignorant to me yeah. if you're talking about me or somebody associated with me and you yeah. don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Because I know the truth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're just doing it for views. They're yeah, like, you're, you're oh, just doing it for views. Yeah, you know? if I but, take this position. But I like original opinions. So so here's my thing. You've always had- You're not going to get that. That's my point. You've always had unique because, hot takes that I haven't heard anywhere. You've been like this forever. But that's because my passion is the take. Their passion is the view. The view. So, yeah, their, there you go. so their opinion there you is go. a paper bag in the wind. It's just flopping all over the place. Oh, where do I think the most views will come? If I shit on this famous person. Because you know what you don't see a lot? Famous people getting right. shit on. So I'm gonna have that opinion, right? While everybody's celebrating this person, I'm gonna shit on them. So if they actually had their own authentic views, probably more people would gravitate towards them. But since they're just chasing clout, the human mind sees through it. I watched somebody literally do a whole bit and I, I know it was everything they saw on Reddit. <laughs> whatever the whatever a Reddit headline was, yeah. he, they, they were using the same language oh, wow. that the headline was using. Wow. They had the same clips that Reddit was taking yeah. and posting. And I'm like... So you ripping and, and, off. And, 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 then, and then, when yeah. the, then when the people that were with him were trying to talk to him to explain why he felt the way he felt, he couldn't even explain it. Because he never felt it. You didn't feel that. You, you literally, saw it and You it. literally saw all of this shit on Reddit, and you was like, I'm going to take this, use it for content on the pod, but when your people, because the people was like, I don't see it like that. Like, you know, I think it was like this. I think it was like that. And he couldn't even explain it. He couldn't he even He just saw hot take, it. and then he got a little pushback on it. He realized he never thought about you it. You never thought about it. Yeah. But that's all I'm saying. Yeah. I want you to have your own original hot take when you are in, on any of these um, platforms. But everything you said about YouTube is right. Everything. Everything you're saying about podcasts is right. You know? I just... I don't know, man. I just want people... Like, I, I guess the only thing I'm saying is I don't want everybody to put their eggs in one basket because that is exactly what could happen. Yeah. That's all. Um, What else we got? Who would win in a fight? Jake or Logan? Jake. <laughs> a little anal. Little Anal? That's his name. Oh. Oh, his Instagram name. <laughs> I was like, what? No, like, what kind of fight is this? Little Anal. I yeah. No, uh, uh, I, think, I think Jake wins. I think Jake has dedicated his life to boxing, and I think he's the better boxer currently. Now, Logan would never admit that, but <laughs> I, think, I think Jake is the better boxer right now. I like the Pauls, man. Uh, I, yeah, I love them. Great I guys. enjoy both those guys. Yeah. I, I, I really do. I enjoy Logan's whole podcast crew. Yeah. I can't remember none of their names right now. <laughs> this is... I know. Bro, it's almost like... I do. He you must really enjoy you this. just man. know you're going to get the legs cut out yeah. immediately after. End the podcast right no, now. No, my guy who's into Jesus. Oh, uh, they kicked him off. <laughs> what, do they no. always, what do they always do to Jesus, bro? Man, you know what I mean? fucked up, man. Yeah, they sacrificed him. Yeah. Why? I don't know. So it's just Logan and... um. Oh man! And I think they have the, another guy that's sitting in named Jeff. 
who sometimes sits What's in What's my man name? Other dude. Mike. Mike. Mike Malak. Mike, my guy. Yeah, Mike is great. He was with the porn star. Yes, he has <laughs> a, uh, yeah, he, he enjoys that. Man, they cut off my guy? Cut off your guy, man. They cut him with your guy. He <laughs> said, this guy's stupid. Damn, man. <laughs> Yo, All you so do, st- man. <laughs> He's stupid. <laughs> All right, one more. Let's do one more. It's under here, I think. What else? Oh shit, we got that motherfucker. Scroll down, Taylor. We might, have, we might got nah, that motherfucker. Don't, Don't let him up. You didn't get it. It's fine. Ah, oh, fuck me in the ass. <laughs> okay, this is a good one. Mm. One more, one more, one more. Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. You got him? Hey. You ain't got... You oh, have him, you better fucking damn. go. Oh, <laughs> damn. Damn. Damn, see, This is why... Now, see, this is going to be good video. <laughs> see, on the podcast, they listening to this, they don't know what the fuck's going on. Andrew caught a fly, he had it. As soon as he moved his hand, he let it go because he was scared to squeeze. <laughs> he was scared to squeeze. He was scared, he was scared squeeze, to squeeze. squeeze. All you had to do was squeeze, yo. This guy is All you had to do. All you had to do. Mm. Dude. It was in between the button and my hand, bro. <laughs> he was scared to squeeze. He right. knew I was afraid to squeeze. He came back. He was scared seconds, to squeeze. He's like, this motherfucker don't got the heart to squeeze. <laughs> That's exactly what it was, yo. You were scared to fucking squeeze. One a- more tail squirt out. That's all we got. We got a lot, but I don't feel like answering these shit. These shit is silly. Well, maybe just one more. Maya travels. Would you rather have ten? You know what, go. I saw another one we could do. This we can end on this one. What was more? One more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Okay. Milk and Nine says, "Is Charlotte Schultz in denial or regret about anything current in their lives?" Huh. No. Mm-mm. No. I'm really, really not. Not at 45 Reading? years old. Listen, I'm sure there's like little regret, like tiny regrets, but not like major. You know, I don't regret nothing. Why? I don't regret anything because you can't truly have faith in a higher power and you can't say things like everything happens for a reason. If you regret things I'm sure in your you life. regret moments where like you weren't. The best version of yourself with someone. But that's why you. That's why I learn. Of without, course. Without that moment, I wouldn't have. Without that moment, I wouldn't learn to be a better version of but myself. But maybe I. I understand that. I think that's a good way to process it. But there's also moments where you're like, well, I wish I. I, I already knew to be better, and I didn't. I had attitude, or I was just being shitty. So like those are the things that are like, ugh, I, I wish but, I handled that better. But I don't regret better. it because I'm the type of person I'll pick up the phone. Yeah. And be like, yo, man, I apologize for. Such and such are. Yeah. If I did you wrong, I, let me know. You know what I mean? I apologize. Like, I have no problem being corrected on anything. I have no problem with a person coming to me and telling me they, they don't like something I say. Taylor does it to me all the time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. yes, Taylor. If you apologize, isn't that you kind of regretting what you did, though? No. I think not, I think, I think not apologizing will lead me to more regret. Because mm. I know I was wrong. I know I was wrong. I know what I did was fucked up. I know I may have caused harm to this person in some way. So me not getting the opportunity to apologize or me not apologizing will have me more living with regret than anything. Yeah. I don't regret being wrong. Yeah, the apology is is liberating. You got to apologize. Where? You should apologize to me. <laughs> and me. <laughs> and so you got mad. Why did Alex turn back today? And, and, and Why? You and should me. apologize Why do you guys to me. Why did you me apologize? Because you got it. mad because we started talking about nutrition. That's not why I got mad. <laughs> Listen, we should. I think there should be a little of apology for you. It will just help you get over this. You apologize to me. I apologize to myself that I let you guys I apologize to myself. <laughs> That's one of the greatest things that's ever been said in the world. That I yeah. let you guys get to me. I apologize to me. I'm sorry to me. That is fucking amazing. That is one of the best things. That's some shit Trump would say. <laughs> Are you sorry? I'm sorry to myself. You know, Trump is a crazy motherfucker. That motherfucker said he weighed 215 pounds. That's fire. They weighed him, bro. No, he did not. <laughs> that motherfucker said he was 6'2", 215 pounds. 6'3". Lamar Jackson is 6'3". 
Two, 215 pounds. Yeah, but Lamar not built like Donald, bro. Donald ain't built like Donald. But Donald got no weight in his hands. There's dip, there's part of his body that he doesn't have to worry about, so he carries it. I can't stand weight. people who lie about their weight, yo. Wait, wait. I thought they weighed him. No. Oh, oh really? that's hysterical. I don't know what I'm saying. 6'3", 215. Most insecure president ever in the history of life. Let when you lie about your weight like that, yo. Y'all call him Ari all the time. What do you mean? And you're supposed to be an out... You, how, how you the thing of alpha males and you lying about your fucking weight? Oh, let me process this for a second. <laughs> Chris Christie ain't never lied about his weight. Imagine you found out Alex lied about his weight. Akash lied about his weight, about height. You saw a, a flyer and Akash said he was 5'9". <laughs> he was like, huh? But people do that, though. People Why? lie about their weight and height, bro. Why? Because there's insecurities. You lie? No, I don't. Bro, I'm five six. You said you're there's five, a law. Six? Wait, you're five six? Five, I thought six. you were taller than that. Five seven. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> See how easy it was for yeah. me to get you to lie? Yep. <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> Absolutely. As always, if you listen to this podcast, <laughs> you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast, you think we're a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.